Again, people, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, UTR probably presents Talk Yo Shit. And, and tonight we are going to get into a weird coming to the second part of our trilogy um, where we're doing uh, movies tonight. We're doing movies, we're doing movies, we're doing movies, part two film, part two film. So, with that being said, TV shows, huh? TV shows too. Oh, sorry. We doing film and TV shows tonight. It's film and TV shows tonight. So, like I said, we don't got the boards, but you know that's for another segment. But y'all stay tuned because uh, we had a lot of fun with y'all. We know y'all had a lot of fun too. Well, I ain't got no marker. My marker still fucked up. So if y'all saw last show, <laughs> I'll go back to the photo, y'all. This is real quick. <laughs> so okay, but that's a good show. That being- <laughs> With that being said, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Name a TV show that should have only had one season. Name a TV show that should have had only one season. Uh, yeah, that's the right question. So, name a TV show that should have only had one season. Who? Uh. Let me see. Oh, the professor looks like she wants she she's itching to answer. So, oh, you're not. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we can go and uh, this is an open discussion, so uh, anybody can talk. I mean, if, if it was a bad bad TV I'm show, <laughs> I'm if it was a TV show, I probably didn't watch it, so I couldn't tell you. Um. Well, well, I, the crazy thing is. I don't really think of any shows right now that should only have had one season. But I mean, because the crazy thing is, if in the crazy thing is, if it did have, if it should have had one season, I probably didn't watch it. That's the crazy part. That's what, like, I said. That's what I'm thinking. Like I can't mm-hmm. think of anything right now because. All right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just name some shows to piss y'all off. So y'all ready? Ah, sure. Oh yeah, this, this, this I, I swear, if you say any of my shows, I might now, huh? <laughs> But go ahead. I would hear. I would hear what you actually came up with. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What? Okay, okay. I give you. I said that was my shit. Wait a minute. Damn. I didn't watch that. So Hold on. Cool. But I, I was going that route, though. I was going that route. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, Buffy. Buffy, I actually liked. It, so <laughs> I was what like, was what was it? Olsen twins. How does he Melrose Place? The Full, full House. Full House one season. Oh my! Full oh, House. Wait a minute now. Lord, you gotta be kidding you me. Not doting. Get them awesome 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 awesome. Awesome. You know what should have? You know what should have? You know what should have had? Uh, one season, and I'm probably gonna piss people off when I say this. Friends. It should have had. One oh, season. I, I said it. Yo, I fucking said, said it. Yeah, I Friends should have only had one season. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe Seinfeld, but not Friends. Oh, don't you ever disrespect my Why is there so many colors of the painting? Don't ever do that, bro. Seinfeld, like, I think, okay, Seinfeld came out during an era where that type of humor wasn't for us type of kids. In the house. What? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why? 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 It's a about- I low key kind of agree. I low kind of agree with her though. I'm, I'm gonna be oh, honest. With you. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, oh, wait. I'm gonna be honest with you. The show was cool, but it was just, I don't know. Like the guy, what's his name? Uh, Alfonso Rivera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, what was he in the house? Yeah, he was. In the house. Was. Oh was yeah, he was. was. I am so yeah. sorry. Okay, that okay. Is, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is my fault. That Between him sure and uh Kim Wayne's, they were annoying as fuck. 
Malcolm and Eddie. Mm. Malcolm and Eddie should have had one season. <laughs> oh, Damn. I didn't know y'all as well as you I all did. Yeah. Oh, boy, from outer space. It did. It did. It did. It did. It did. And that's why it only, I had, it only had one season. But wait, yeah, that was on my mind, but I was like, wait, homeboy. Oh and that's, that's why it only had one season. season. Okay. Okay. Let's, I'm, let's I'm done with the controversy now, though. So y'all get y'all can have the rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's kind of switch the question up just a tad bit, though. Let's switch the question up a tad bit before we get to okay. the comments. What show should have had more than one season? I, we don't know shows that only had one season. Minecraft Country. How did I know you was gonna say that? Like, it's the truth. <laughs> I mean, it could. I was gonna say it could be any show, but then that would make sense. So never mind. Well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the show between brothers should have had, had more than one season. Out all know. night, huh? Out all night. Did they have more than one season? I don't know. I don't that know. is a good show. Out all night. Season. I think it was only one season for that. Yeah, I mean, but but yeah, I don't know if Out All Night had just one season. I think they just did kind of like, I think yeah, I think they only had one season. I'm not sure though. How did that? Oh, um, um, damn, what's the name of that fucking show? Sparks should have had more than one season. What's it called? I agree with Sparks. 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 Sparks and Sparks. Okay, Sparks and Sparks. I didn't watch that. Wow, you didn't watch that either. I, I didn't. I know. think that was well, shit. Yeah, Out All Night had one season, y'all. That was a wow. Good Damn. Okay. Um, it was Hanging with Mr. Like Cooper. This. Cooper had several seasons. Yeah, they had yeah. like three or four. They had, they had like four, five seasons. Well, I just come out all four or five seasons in the one season for me, so he should have more. I feel like he got <laughs> right because they only play they only play like one on Nick at night. So. Yeah. I feel like I, was, I, I, I what I did catch, what I did catch, and they only played one like on Channel Five, so and that was like in the afternoon. So sure. I, when I caught it, I caught it, but it was always the same. Uh, what's the name? It was always same, same season. Yep, same season. So, yeah, I get it. I definitely get it. But before we get to the one season, though, but we can go to the comments, bro. But yeah, let's 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 rock to the comments. Let's have the V, if you please. All right, Kristen is in the building. What's up? What up, Kristen? Kristen? She says Three's Company. I never watched that. What? I like yourself with that one. (laughs) <laughs> oh, you said that shit only have one season? Oh my goodness! No, wow. she said I've only seen Chris, two. I don't episodes. know, man. It should have only been been so she was the first. Know, she said that three stuff when it should have had only one season. That was for the first. That's for the first question, right? Yes. Yeah, I think, she, I think that was for the first question. In the... Oh, okay, probably. Yeah. Wow. No. Nah. Here's in the building. Fun. Welcome, welcome. What up, Kira? What's up? What's up? Hey, Hey, she said, yes, I love. I'm oh, sorry, I love Lovecraft Country, and she said yes again. Yes, Heather. Yeah, love I mean, Crab of course. Country. Like, I mean, it's I good. like Lovecraft Country too, but it's other, it's other. I'm pretty sure some other shows out there. But anyway, I believe Underground as well. Just to throw that out, that only had one season, and then they cut it. Right, they had two. Oh, they did have two. Yes. Damn. Okay. Look at me with the fact checking over there. I see you, my brother. Ooh, Mate, we got a few more. We got some more comments. The kids in the building. What's up, Z? What up, Z? What up, Z? Z? Y'all what doing? up? We see. And then uh, uh, Kira said, "Hey, y'all." So we can go hey. on. To um. All right. So check this out. Next question. Who Who do you think was the most memorable snitch in a movie or a show? Who do you think was the most memorable? snitch or in a movie or a show um, so what was uh, the sister's name on what's happening oh d <laughs> <laughs> yeah d. Big what, ass. Uh, what was that boy's name on recess i was just <laughs> thinking of that <laughs> yeah he the one uh, of yeah what is his God, name damn. Boy, look like a boy, look like he iguana in the face. Like, what's his name? Um, anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. I know, we know yeah, exactly what you're talking little, about. Little lizard, little lizard face boy. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that's a good question. Damn, the most memorable snitch. Uh, in a in a movie, or I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to say uh, what's his, I think his name is Rico from Belly. 
<laughs> I may have to drop a dime on them niggas <laughs> eating a banana. <laughs> that nigga was. I like that shit. I don't like that shit. I don't no. like that shit. <laughs> okay. I can't think of any other like straight up snitches. Rudy was a big ass snitch on the Huxtables. Oh, I'm about to say. Same was. We ain't talking about the same Rudy. Rudy played. No, I'm not talking. All the little sisters was just big ass snitches. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to be honest, all the sisters were, were snitches. Like all the all the all the babies of the family were snitches. Like, <laughs> wait a minute, didn't Miles used to snitch on fucking Moesha all the damn time? Not really. Mm-hmm. I could have swore, like when he was young. Yes, he has mm-hmm. snitched before. Mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and say Katie from uh, my wife and kids. Oh, oh, mm. yeah, because 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 think about it, because think about it though. You know what? That's you, a nice sure that one damn season. Whoa, 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 my wife and kids. Whoa, my wife and kids. That's, that's cold. Damn, but, bro. I, honestly, but honestly, you, you know why I say that, though. though, Jay? You know why I say that. Yeah, I know why you say it, but no, we ain't doing that though. You ain't about to disrespect my wife and kids. Because you know? <laughs> I was I'm, not, I'm, not I'm my wife and kids. I remember you say black. I remember you say blackish in my wife and kids. Blackish don't deserve all the season. Yeah, black. but you know, no, but on blackish, it was the dude, his his friend. That nigga was always snitching, not realize he was snitching. Oh, I know you're talking about what's his name, the other comedian dude. Yep. What's that dude named Gerald? You know what I'm talking about. Um, what, Come on, Dean Cole. He's like, he's like, he's like oh, Dean Cole. Dion Cole. Dion Cole. He Dion said Cole. Dean Cole. Yeah, he said Dean Cole. Cole. I said Dean. <laughs> Sorry, Dion Cole. Dion Cole. He, uh, I was he, close. Uh, Dion I was close, Cole. but no cigar. That didn't sound right. <laughs> hey, hey, to so each his own. But, but, but let's get to the comments before we go up on tangents. Let's get to the comments because we got a few. Right. So let's get Lene's it. in the building. Randall What's was his name, Lene. Randall. Thank you, Lene. And hi, how you said. doing? But thank but, you, Randall. That's yes. Look, thank you, thank you, Lene. Well, everybody giving y'all the name. So Kristen also said Randall. Uh, China is in the building. What's up? Well, China. Uh, she said, Denzel on American Gangster. I disagree with that answer. Damn. I don't give a fuck about them. <laughs> I like Denzel in American Gangster. He wasn't a snitch, though, in my opinion. No, yeah, actually, he was, bro. Like, that's a snitch, if you, regardless of what. Like, but like I, the worst. I, but what was the little was, crackhead name in the movie when he was like, he even got your son just to steal a radio? What's his How name? How did he snitch? Though? Oh, that nigga from South Central. He, he was snitching because he was telling everything that was going on. Who? When he went to jail. The crackhead from South Central. Oh, y'all talking about local. That's not Loco. Snitching. Yeah, that that no snitching. Tell nobody that. Like, what are you saying? He told he told OG Bobby Johnson what was happening outside. That's all it was. Like, and, and, he, he told on old boy that he had his oh. son still in radio. That's not snitching. That's that's like that's like a parent telling another parent that your son is fucking up. If you're telling somebody's business. Niggas ain't going to jail for sell, for solar radios now. True, <laughs> no, but, I just, but true, but like niggas I said, going but, to jail for they, but, but they that's said, like, just yeah, awesome now, <laughs> now they are. But back then, they, they were looking for more bigger fish hey, than I, niggas still in stolen radio. I mean, facts, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like that's just a, a, your homie telling you that your that basically your homeboy is out here doing X, Y, and Z. He didn't go to the, uh, uh, an official authority and say that. That's what that I'm saying. That don't have to be an official authority to snitch. Uh, snitch, is snitch. I mean, if you want to call it that. I mean, that's okay. true. Because think about mm. it, though. Because we're talking about saying. Randall. That was his school. <laughs> yeah, but, but he's telling he the teachers right the school. School. He he tell right teachers school. and principal. Okay. <laughs> and not to mention, they got a notepad and writing shit. Yeah, that's the, the, that's that's the definition of a man. Like, we really do this. Look, wait, biggest snitch? That just made me think about something. That motherfucker from the longest yard. Oh yeah, he was a snitch. That he was, was that nigga snitch on everything to them he fucking was. uh correctional the officers. Yeah. But anyway, let me get back to the comments. Yeah, let's get to the comments. Think about it. Think about while, it. While I think, while I think about the longest yard, real quick. Think, think about the Adam Sandler one. Don't think about the old school one, bro. Right, right, right. I'm thinking about the Adam Sandler one, but I'm like, yeah, think about it. But okay, back to the comments. <laughs> Uh, Kiara said Randall. 
Eli is in the building. What up, Eli? Eli. What's happening? He said Tasha from Everybody Hates Chris. Ooh, I'm telling. <laughs> that should have also had one season. That's another show that should have had one season. Y'all bugging. Y'all bugging. Y'all bugging. I hated that fucking show. Y'all bugging right now. Let's get into the let's get through I'm the comments. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna tell you why. Chris Ross' voice is annoying, and I can't stand Terry Crews. You, know, enough, per you, you personally don't like Terry Crews. <laughs> but y'all, y'all, well, you can. I just said Chris Rock's voice was annoying too. Okay. okay, like I said, we got that out. But okay. I, I let that one out. But let's go, let's go, Evan. Okay, um, Kiara said because they replaced the daughter. I guess this is in regards to my wife and kids. Oh, Krista said Dangles from Shadas was a snake. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You are absolutely right about that. That's another movie that shouldn't have nothing. Never mind. <laughs> I, 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 I. You ain't going to go there. Z said the preacher in, de in Dead Presidents. <laughs> Yeah, he was. He was a snake. Hey, they hey, say Carlton. Hey, fuck that nigga. Oh, yeah. Carlton was a major was snitch. <laughs> Carlton only stitched in a few episodes, y'all. That would make him a yeah, big like, oh, God. Like, yeah, like, he, <laughs> no. I don't think I was the definition of being It wasn't only a few episodes. In the first season, they was, he was always snitching. Yeah, he really was. He was Wait trying to get it. Okay, okay, okay. If we gonna go there, Will is a snitch, too, though. On God. That's right. true. Yeah, he, he definitely That's is. Really I'm not denying that. Saying, I'm just saying. You're right. right. But I'm just saying. I was no, no, no. That, I wasn't well, saying he's not. I was just correcting uh, Aaron because he said only on a couple. No, that nigga snitched uh, a lot. He was a lot in that first season. All right, then. If we go in there, the whole family snitches because Hillary snitched sometimes. Yeah, uh, what's if you really want to be honest, like everybody was kind of snitching on that. Everybody show was snitching like, the family. I was just that pointing true. out. I was just pointing that Will was a snitch too before motherfuckers start going with the tiki torches in front of Carlton. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Don't like, burn Carlton was... house down when the rest of the family snitching too. Man, well, Carlton man. was a bigger snitch than anybody. Who? Carlton was a bigger snitch than he anybody. was the biggest snitch out of everybody. Mm. It's, it's okay. a whippy role he played, but I get it. Okay, <laughs> but continue. Right, but, I'm sorry. We sorry, y'all. Um, Kiara was speaking to uh, Kristen and says, take take the what and lead a what? And then Naomi's in the building. What's up? What up, Naomi? Naomi? Welcome Yo. back. Glad you caught us again. Uh, Kristen says, like, who gets killed by a character played by White Club? Damn. Terrible. That's hilarious. Uh, China That's says, smoking cool. do be snitching, snitching. Exactly. Really? Eli says, I see in the Who's the Man movie. Niggas barely remember. Was he snitching? Yeah, yeah he he hmm. snitched. He, yeah, he he definitely snitched. <laughs> and the fact that Man, he pulled out his is funny. Like, <laughs> and, but I see you, Eli. That's one of my joints, though. <laughs> we got to talk right, about afterwards. We got to talk about that afterwards, Gerald. Yeah, we'll talk so, about it. We'll talk about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Kiara said, "Ezel, that is true." T tell tell us someone taking a shelf inside the house is, is really like petty snitching, not not like. Not like six nine Takashi's hey, 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 keep in mind he was on that stuff too. That is true. That is true. Uh Z says Diana in Power Book. Power Book 2. <laughs> Don't watch it. She should uh, China says old hey, school D for what's happening. I said that earlier. <laughs> I said that earlier for sure. For what's happening. And then Eli says uh Chunk or whatever his name is from the movie Fresh. I wasn't even mad when they got him got, wait, got him up out of there in the movie. I'm glad he got caught by getting stuck under that car. Talk too damn much. That's hilarious. Hey, That's hey, hey, Eli, 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 he bust those dope moves. Those, bust those, leave Chucky out of his. Leave Chucky out of his, bro. <laughs> he bust a dope move. You bust a what? <laughs> you bust a what? <laughs> And then Go ahead. he also said, Wow, this nigga really okay. DW from Arthur, the OG snitch. And then Kristen says, Vivica Fox was snitching every time she broke the fourth wall in two like that game. Damn. Yeah. Almost played, she was played a snitch. Like, even deliver, like, deliver us from Eva. Who was that in there snitching? Um, shit. 
There was, was. Oh, that was Gabrielle Union, wasn't it? Gabrielle, not, not, I didn't mean Becca. I mean Gabrielle Union. She is notorious okay. yeah, yeah, in all yeah, her yeah, movies. Yeah. She is notorious. I don't even like that damn movie. What, Deliverers from Eva? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's one of those movies. It was serviceable. You have to yeah, watch yes. it. It's like it's. They should never there. be a second one or like a exactly equal to it. Whatever they I did. swear to God, they, they better not try to remake that. Don't remake shit. Nothing it's else. Not worth a remake, like to be honest. Yeah, you know, y'all know we in remake season, so don't act like you know they ain't remaking stuff right now. But let's move on to the next question, y'all. Yes. All right. All right. Look. So. Name a movie after watching it once, you didn't want to watch it again, and why? Hmm. Y'all heard that, folks? Name a movie that you Roots. watch once and you didn't want to I watch it again. I knew someone was coming from Gold Air. Roots, Honey Trap. Roots. It was too damn long and it was just too much going on, okay? Every time What's I seen a white person after that, I want to learn about your history. What's Honey Trap? Um, yeah, what Honey is Trap movie? is a movie that was actually based on a true story that happened in the UK. Basically, it was about this girl who set her friend up to get killed by her boyfriend because her boyfriend thought that they were doing something and she wanted him back. Like it was actually based on a real story. But if you watch it, you will be pissed the fuck off at that bitch. Like you'll want to choke her yourself. Well, if you don't want to watch it again, again, if you don't want to watch it again, why would you tell us to watch it? No, I said no, I said it's a movie that she wouldn't want to watch again. You watched right. it once and never watched it again. No, I got why you said, I got why you said it though. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Titanic, man. Like, one and done on that. I'll point. agree on that. And, and my grandma, it's, it, the reason why I say my grandma loved Titanic, I don't know what it was. Like they didn't even let niggas on the boat. Like, but my grandma was every time it came on TV, my grandma will sit there and watch it. She'll tear up. Start crying and stuff. I'm like, Grandma, you cannot be serious right now. The Ten oh, Commandments and for color girls. No, no, I'm the Ten I'm Commandments. Say, oh, you're going too far now. Uh, <laughs> I can't watch that over and over again. The color girls, you don't want to watch that again? Oh, well, no, oh, well, I, mean, I said I'm, the I'm color girls, I would never watch that shit again. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Shadas is a is a is a movie I wouldn't want to watch again. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it once and I was, and I didn't. Oh. And I not like it whatsoever. You got to go to the corner, bro. You you and Teddy Buck shot go to the corner. That movie is fucking weak. No, I'm a sin man. Of the Christ. Christ. I can't what happened? Watch that. Passion of the Christ. You know what? Oh, I, I understand. I, I understand know. why you say that, but um. It, it, it is a bit much. It is a bit it's much. a bit much. I, I can't. After the first one, I didn't want to see it again. Hmm. Way steep. I, I agree with you. Wow. <laughs> Way steep. Now, I ain't going to lie. You know, I want to be here yeah, live. That movie one. just happens to come on a lot. So. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, sometimes I'll be yelling. The BT edit is killing me. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, 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 you are not oh, about to disrespect Baby right. Boy. Oh, I'm about to say. Yeah, okay, you, about don't to say. you? Don't, don't no, no, no. I wasn't I saying that. I'm now. saying. The reason why I laugh at Baby Boy now is because of the fucking uh, the the curse word. Uh, it's a BT classic. Yeah, right. Clearly. Why Ways Deep tr- automatically turn into four hours long on, on BET with all those commercials? <laughs> all movies turn into four hours long. No, dead ass. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get let's get to the comments. All right, uh, Chinese said Rosewood racist. We should put some type of limitation on that question. <laughs> uh, Zakia said precious. Oh, uh, the name was agreeing to someone. She said same. Kristen says, "Oh, the Shakespeare spinoff." Hold on, the time out. What Shakespeare, Shakespeare spinoff? I hope it's not uh, the it's one with Leo. Juliet with Leo because uh-uh. that's uh-uh. that is a classic. I ain't even get through that movie. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, so I, I can't even. Get I know it. what you. I know it's, it's, it's Romeo and Juliet. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Because they have like two or three versions of it, but it better not be the one with Leo. Because yeah. the one with Leo is dope. We, we need you to clarify that, Kristen. I didn't. I, I didn't even watch the, half of that movie. She said the lovely bones. It pissed me off, and it was too sad. Me too. Me too. Mm. And then China also said, "Pissed me smooth the fuck off." 
Oh shit. Uh Lene said girl in the basement. I oh. did not see it, but I heard. Damn. Mm, I saw that one. Mm. Okay. Now, Kiara says uh I can I have yet to watch Passion of the Christ. Same here, because I have it's not, not seen it. It's not for the week. God say that much. It's definitely not for the week. Lene said, look at Eric's face laughing my ass off. <laughs> what? Kristen says, any home, oh, that makes sense. Any home alones without Macaulay Culkin. Agreed. Yeah, yeah honestly. I, really really I, I, thought, I thought she said with Macaulay Culkin. Can't say it completely. Get what you're saying, but can't say it completely. Right. So you like the third one? Thing. Yes, I actually like the third one. Yes, I like the third the, one. The third one was good. It was funny. No, 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 no. no. See, you talking about the one that they just put out this this previous year. They talking about the third one is oh. the one with the with the little boy. Yeah. So, yeah. Third one wasn't that bad though. I can watch that kind of a couple <laughs> times. So I don't watch it a couple times. It's not that bad. But all right, yeah. but I get it. I'm not gonna knock you for it. Go all ahead. Lene said Tyler Perry plays all that damn. What? Damn. Um, I, I I, no, I, I look key agree. Like once you kind of watch the play one time, like for you to kind of sit back and watch the plays over and over again, it's, it is kind of like. I don't I'm think not it's much watch the that. acting; it's like, the singing. Yeah, yeah, I fast forward through the singing part. It's the singing. The, I, I the, the scenes in between. I, oh, I, I watched. I watched the plays one time, and I went back and we watched them plays over and over again. I'm oh, sorry. Mm, All okay. right. Well. Zakia said the Aaliyah Lifetime movie agreed. <laughs> uh, China That's also another statement. <laughs> I mean, any Lifetime biopic at this point. Oh, she uh, said Othello. 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 The one with uh, Lauren? Uh, you told Larry. the one with Fish Mark. The, the <laughs> one with Larry, yeah. Is that the same one with, 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 with what's his name? That dark ass basketball player? I mean, uh, Oh, are we talking about the same no, movie? Oh no! So no. it was oh later with Mackay Pfeiffer and Mackay Pfeiffer, dark ass. But Othello go. was with uh, Loris Fishburne and mm -hmm. oh with Larry. Okay, yeah, with Larry. <laughs> yeah, Othello is the one with Larry. Always the one with Mackay. So <laughs> I got you. All right, okay. Othello. So, the truth. Give me a second. Eli says, "Beloved." That movie fucked me up. That scene with her standing in the door doorway with her wolf juice. Flying buzzing, gizzard choking, hair peach, fuck me up, <laughs> stained in my head. I know it smelled like upcoming, upcoming souls in that room. Eli, go to the corner. Yep, it was coming. <laughs> go to the well, corner. I'm already, I'm, I'm, we are, we already knew the corner. That was that's, that's, that was that's epidemic actually, at that point. Okay, well, no, so I'm just, saying, I'm just saying that I went to the corner before. For Eli, so I'm cool. <laughs> so Kristen cleared it up. She said that it was actually the one uh with O with Mackay Pfeiffer and Josh Hartnett. The crazy thing is uh, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> I remember it and it, it, it was wasn't no, that bad the movie. of a movie. It was cool, but it wasn't that bad of a movie. Like the one was, with Julius the one with Julius. The ending pissed me off <laughs> so much. Oh, I I ain't watching that again. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm not gonna crazy. watch it again. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna sit down and be like, oh yeah, let's put on oh yeah. I'm not. Oh, gonna O's on. Let me watch it from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not like, doing that. Personally, I don't even think nobody plays the shit. <laughs> but good. I'm sorry. No, you good. Uh, Kiara said, well, she was laughing and uh, Eli says, stop. He got uh, no Eli sense. also says once again, callback. Flex, flex as Michael. Just a big note. Who told him to put powdered donut on his entire? <laughs> Come back out the corner, Eli. Come back out the corner. Oh wait, wait, right? Oh, that shit should have never out been the made. the corner with that one, my guy. Did that, that statement help you get out the corner tonight? God damn. Uh, Chris mm. said, "Thank you, Heather. You're welcome." And Eli also says the corner is better than that room of horrors they had to endure in that movie. And Mama Cookie is in the building. She says, hello, my love. Hi, Mama Cookie. Hi. Hey. Next question. Why you, why you, okay. <laughs> why you look like that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh, Jello pudding pop. Shut up. You be, know, be, be quiet, Bill. Be quiet. Okay. Just... Okay. Uh -oh. All right. Name a female villain in a movie or series and wait here. Yeah. Name a female villain in a movie or series and tell me why they are a villain. A female villain in a TV show or movie. And tell me why they're the villain. 
Best Man, uh, the Robin series. Robin definitely was the villain. <laughs> and I don't care what Ooh. nobody say. She was a oh, big shit. ass villain. You know why? Because wow. she was evil. She didn't care about nobody but herself because he did everything to make her happy and she still found a way to fuck shit up. Hmm. I agree. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. I see. Okay. I agree. Hmm. Yeah, but that can't be your answer, Heaven. So that, that's not what I was gonna say. Okay, um, well, explain your female villain. Can I say just Lynn Winfield and damn near almost everything? <laughs> in the Joseph Baker story, she was a, she was a villain. Medea's she family damn near Medea. everything. Oh, okay. Well, she was probably one of the worst mothers. <laughs> I say one of them because I know it's four, but she was probably one of the most mother worst mothers because of the fact that one you willingly gave your daughter to your husband because you wanted to still have his money you sacrificed your daughter and then you treated her like shit and then had the nerve to call your fucking grandchildren bastards like mm. i hated her in that fucking movie like i wish she would have got yeah. punched well no she did get punched <laughs> her well, daughter slapped the shit out of her. together or something like what was that was huh that was that the family that prays together? Mm, oh, shit. I, no. I, no, 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 no. But that's actually my favorite Tyler Perry movie. But, um, you are right. Because <laughs> I forgot what Sanaya Lathan's name was. But yeah, she was she was mm, like a, a, a piece of work. Mm. Um, I'm going to say. She deserved that slap, by the way. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Most definitely. Word. So, I'm good. Damn. And I literally had it, too. I literally Sorry. had it. But you, you ain't got it. I got it. Go ahead. With, um, Terry, aka Vanessa Williams from Soul Food, the ultimate. Hell fucking Actually, yeah. after looking at it as an older person, I, I can't say it. Like, I can't say she tore, it. she tore the whole family apart just to put everybody back together at the end. And really, it was Miles' help, even though he burned up the kitchen. But you know, definitely, I would say Vanessa Williams, aka Terry from Soul Food, was a, the ultimate villain. And I'm not uh, today. Um, go go ahead, me. You got it? No, yeah, I was gonna say uh, Felicia Rashad in Empire. Ooh, I'm about to, I thought he was about to say the Cosby show. I'm about to. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. I'm a disrespect, Claire. Like, I don't get <laughs> no, she has a point on the Cosby too, though. How she the villain on the Cosby's? How? She played the villain on. That's why. No, no, because when you think huh? about it, she she played Tay Diggs' mother on there, and she was a cold piece of work, especially when it came down to Hakeem. Okay, I'm All gonna right. say that, I know, and I got it back. I'm gonna say I don't know her name, but um, Taraji P Henson in that movie Acrimony. <laughs> Oh, she yeah. was a um, I remember that whole movie. I, I well, it's a, it's, well, I, 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 know. I know what he's talking about, but I forgot her name, though. She did was like up to a a villain. She became the villain, but you got to understand all the shit that she went through with that man first before she became what she was. Let's think about it. And also, no, no, no. her sisters were villains, too. So her sisters, ahead. okay, but 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 no, she did everything for this man. The money that she got from her mama, her husband blew through. She paid for his schooling. She did all this shit for him, but he was unappreciative of it. She was working while he was... Hold on. She was working while he wasn't. While he was off doing his shit. After some time, if you're still not working, you're going to get tired of taking care of a person. And that person is not helping take care of what's going on. So I, she became a villain. She did not start off the villain because honestly, he cheated on her first before anything mm -hmm. started happening when they were first going together. And he, she still took him back, paid for his schooling, and married his ass. I will agree with that. I will agree. But she didn't it start as, off. No, she kept talking. She didn't, she was turned into a villain, but it's the fact that not only did he 
like once everything was done, like not only did you give him give her the money back, you gave her even more, you know, to try to end everything. But it's literally was like she was on some no nigga, I want your life <laughs> at this point. No, but like, that's what I'm Evidently it wasn't enough. He no, could, no, no. And she could afford the life. With because he gave her what 10 million, so yeah, 10 million. I think it was 10 million. But I'm not it saying it was the fact that you wanted his life, it's now it's like I'm not, oh, this is not all of that she didn't, she didn't begin I'm not saying as not a villain. I'm not saying that. I'm saying no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not she, she became I'm not the villain. I'm not yeah, the villain. she became the villain. Yes, when, slowly but surely she became the villain, like little by little. Yes. Oh, and Monique and Precious, she was a motherfucking villain too. Oh, yeah. Another mother yes. that was horrible <laughs> in the movie. Beyond horrible. Oh, also uh, Frank and Moesha. I thought the question was females. Oh, was females? Oh, my bad. I still want to throw his name. I was like, when did Frank become a female? <laughs> and how, how I was still want to throw his name. And how was Frank a villain? Well, we can't, we'll talk right. about that later. We'll, 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 we'll get to yeah. that point. So, hey, now. Okay, uh, yeah. Go. So We can go so, to the comments. Get to the... Get, get, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say something rude, rude about Moesha anyway, but go ahead and get to the comments for y'all counsel. We'll probably eyes. get there too. Uh, Kristen said, Miss Trunchbull. And she said, and if you don't know, I don't have time to explain. Girl, we know. <laughs> hey, Is that from, uh, what's we call it? Uh, Matilda? Matilda, bro. Yeah, yeah Matilda. Matilda. Hey. <laughs> uh, she also said, Dolores Umbridge in Harry Potter. I have never seen Harry Potter, I'm being honest. None of them? None of them. I've tried. I have tried. I can, I can never get through the first one. I don't know why. I, I, I've seen I them all several I, times. I, I never, I never watched them. Period. So you know, I'm gonna try again. You never <laughs> watched what? Each? I never watched Harry Potter. Oh, okay. You too. Me too. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, you okay. three? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I just came. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Have but, you seen but, me but, we'll, we'll have that conversation off camera. I'm, but, I'm, I'm, I'm not the only one that has to watch Harry Potter on the show. But let's, no, let's get to no, the comments. No, I've seen Professor them all. Arthur, but, okay, okay. Yeah, she's I'm with the one. other three. I'm not sure what's wrong with you other three, but all right. Y'all watch worse stuff than that before. But I, 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 whatever. Probably. Keep going. All right. Lene said Franklin says mama. <laughs> he went back to her crackheaded <laughs> ex, then what? made everyone lose their money. She what? is not the uh, villain. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the crack <laughs> epidemic is at an all time listen, high. Listen, <laughs> right there. Aaron, Aaron, listen. Damn. Listen. She couldn't wait 30 seconds. No. <laughs> no. no. I was going to have a party for I was going to have a party for Lee. I was going to have a party for Lee. She is not I was a victim. Had a party. And then me and V were going to go. To the Caribbean and have a baby and no. all that. She you should have. You should have. Mama is not the problem. The problem is you let your homeboy go around the corner in an abandoned house and and, and and do what he did to you. He stole your money. He's the villain. D. Ray Davis. What's his name in the in, in the show? Oh, uh, uh, Peaches. <laughs> Peaches. Uh, uh, a straight. Never mind. Going there's pride month. Anyway, Peaches is the problem. <laughs> Anyway, yes, next, okay. next comment, please. Next comment. Uh, Mama Cookie said, "Any uh, any Wilkes for misery." Yep. Yeah. That's all. Definition too. of villain. Kristen said Terry was responsible, not a villain. She was not responsible. He also said, and this is true though. Vivica stole her man and sold food. That's the villain. No, Faith stole the man. He was fuck. She was fucking on the. Faith, that's my Faith. husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Zakia said, "Mommy dearest, no wire, <laughs> no wire hangers," and Kathy Bates in misery. That's exactly why we ain't got no wire hangers in this house. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Kristen also said, I, "I might say it wrong, but uh, Cersei." From Game of Thrones. You said it right. I never watched I said it right. Game okay. of Thrones either, though. Hell motherfucking yeah, Z. Jada Pinkett in real life and the Inkwell. The Inkwell. Fuck oh, that bitch. She's not the victim for, for going to see old boy instead of seeing what's his name. How she she know damn well she's the villain. She, she played, played that. Him. She, played, she played him that oh, whole so movie. If you get played him in that movie, bro. So if you get played him, bro. No, no, no. Like, no, 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 no. Now, 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 now we gotta have this discussion. Y'all gotta have that. Y'all gotta take the equal somewhere else. You 
bro, <laughs> you were supposed to go out wrong. on a date. You agreed a, to go to the date. If you didn't want to go, you should have just said so. But you he got was, this man waiting you, outside is not real for, life, Gerald? Hour, for damn near an hour. Then right. you turn on the light to to him, and then he has to see you messing around with your ex. Get the fuck out of here. That's a, is that not that's real life, shit, bro? Like, is that not real life? Shit. I'll make it cool. Oh, okay, 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 there's a difference between not being there's a difference between not being cool and being a villain. Because you cheated on old boy, don't make you a villain. I'm sorry. He was a sucker. He got played. We all been there before. We all been played. Well, Maybe you not you, Jay. You you know you the rebel. How he get played in all you? Hey, you better believe. Hey, look, you better believe. We all got I stuck in this. I slammed her flowers on the stairs too. <laughs> got you. Yes. <laughs> Okay, you got real woman pussy at the end. So anyway, now, 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 granted, I didn't. Now, granted, I didn't run no two. Now, granted, I didn't run no five or six miles through a parade. Though, but I, I ran to the end of the block and was tired. I, 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 no, look, I ran to the end of the block and was tired. That but, nigga was but, sprinting through that motherfucker. But go ahead, go ahead. Okay, uh, Lede said she's the op. Yes, Lede, she's the op. She couldn't uh, wait Mama thirty seconds. Said, get Regina George, Mean Girls. Mm. That's mm. definite. Mm -hmm. uh, what the hell? Kelton is in the building. What up, Kelton? What up? What up? He says, "Oh, girl, guys? on thin line between love and hate." I'm guessing you're speaking of Brandy. She was also turned into a villain, though. Think about it. And she warned him. She warned this nigga several times. I so no I got no mm. remarks to that one, man. You I'm know, just saying. Picking and choosing. Martin Lawrence, Martin Lawrence was the villain when he painted himself as a fucking heartthrob. But good. That is <laughs> that Martin is Lawrence is the villain. Okay. He, he and... played with her heart. Scrawny chess ass nigga. But anyway, go ahead. Uh -huh. That's crazy. all right. Eli says the basketball coach from Sunset Park. Her and Fredro Starr's characters crossed too many boundaries. Their relationship was hella weird. Can we say Gibetto? Gibetto. <laughs> That's what he meant. Anyway. And Z says Cedra in Love and Basketball. No, Cedra was not the villain. <laughs> well, okay. 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 Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Who's the villain in Love and Basketball, Aaron, since you know? <laughs> I got the hear. <laughs> oh. Are we being are we being for real or are we being funny? No, no we're being for real. No, we're being like, funny. Here's funny. Funny. There's, there's, funny. Multiple, there's multiple villains. There's multiple villains in love and basketball. And, I know and what gonna, you're gonna say. And we're gonna pass out villain trophies. The first villain trophy is gonna go to uh O's daddy. That nigga talking about I'm working late, you know, I'm hustling my ass off the paper this fancy ass house. <laughs> he got caught. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. The all star, the all state commercial guy. What was it? Are you in good hands? No, Q Daddy. I'm sorry, I said O Daddy. Q Daddy. Q Daddy the was the villain. He gets the first villain hey, trophy yeah. in the movie. Let me explain something. He, let me explain something. He was working. He had just enough savings to keep a fine ass in Gucci and go. <laughs> <laughs> when she hit that thing in the head with the watch and it bounced off his head, that nigga said, damn you! I said, oh, this is comedy, but yeah, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. Go ahead. Um, next on the list? Q was also the villain. Fine ass and Gucci and gold. I'm sorry. Q That's was the villain. He say, oh my God. Wait, wait, no, just stop, just stop. Because no, we probably got a question the, like the, that. The villain, oh, the, the villain <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree. Q Daddy was a villain, and then Q became the villain at the end. Oh my goodness. Mm. Cedra okay. was just keeping it real for her as she took off her jersey and showed her little sports bra. Wait, no, 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 no. He was, he was the villain in the middle and the end. The reason why he was a villain in the middle is because he got mad at her. If you play basketball, you know you got curfew. She had curfew too. She had to do what she had to do. So what you do? Go take the little funky ass bitch to get a motherfucking burger and shit. Did all that shit in front of her. Mm. He was a villain at that part too. He's also, also the villain. He's also the villain. He was the villain in the begin in the beginning too. Which he he, should, he, he knew he should have took old girl. He should he should have took uh, Sana Lathan the prom. Instead, he took that other chick. He took what's her name instead, and then Sana Lathan became yeah, a villain. He took the college boy. God, look at him. Kept switching. 
the villain the, the, villain, the villain trophy got passed around that movie, but but Q and Q Daddy took the shit home at the end of the night. The they was we we done went on a tangent. It was female. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, was I did, it was hilarious, it, though. It because of it's me. hilarious, it but it was true, though. Well, technically, it, it is female, but you asked him to name who he thought was a villain. So it's yeah, I know. That's why I said it. Sorry. I, I took you on the wrong story, but you, but, know, you, yeah. you and the daddy for sure <laughs> was It's good. obvious you don't like loving basketball like that. <laughs> I love I love loving basketball. That's my that's that's but my let's go to the comments though. All right, we got a couple more. Um Lene said, Aaron, I'm doubting your judgment. Doubting. And Z said he ain't a he ain't a female, Aaron. That's very true. But uh, Chris says Jay asked that question. Yeah, we just kind of went off. Uh Chris said Trina. Mm -hmm. He was and why did I get married? Though. Yep. Uh, I don't know about that. Which one is true? Uh, was she the villain? Why did I get married? Oh, she, she oh, wasn't the was biggest with Mike. villain, but well, she was a villain. Mean, in a sense, it is because she was sleeping with Mike before when the movie started. Well, so, she's the are we really gonna put Trina over Mike? Female. Yeah, no, nah, Mike take Mike is the biggest uh -huh. villain of that movie. That's all I'm gonna be the biggest villain. You're right. Villain right. of the of the movie, yes, but, but, but she was the female villain. That that back. It's only because we're naming females. If we just say name a villain in a movie. Right, right. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Trina is the villain in that movie. But I do agree. Is a big ass Trina. villain in that movie. Definitely. Now, I don't agree. Terry was the villain in Soul Food, but okay, good. Uh, Kelsey said, "Don't know names, but the mother from Boys in the Hood. She dropped his ass off and dipped." I'm guessing you're referring to Angela's <laughs> character. Angela Bass's character. Oh, I, I ain't gonna lie. I thought she was. I thought he was talking about Doughboy and Ricky's mom. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I read the rest of it. I'm like, oh, how was how was Angela Bassett the villain though? No, <laughs> well, she did play a villain in a, in a certain type of way, but it wasn't. She, but she said, wasn't a villain because she raised him, and then he said, "You're gonna go stay with your daddy." He only lived with the daddy for a couple of years. That's true. He's probably about but, twelve. Then, when he that's, 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 that's how life was back in the day. Like a, a woman back in the day always always said, "I only can raise my son to be so much of a man, and he has to go learn from his daddy with the rest of it." Oh, that was that's a how, threat. That's, oh, that's how most of us were raised. So that's not a, that's not necessarily a. That don't make you a villain, no, though. No, I, I, I was never really him off and deal, but at the same time, but at the same time, um, who said that? Kill Eli him. said that. Oh no, Kelly said that. At the same time, but she kept in contact with him the whole time. The whole movie, so how, that's not necessarily a villain, my guy. And so, still, and then want to live back with that. her. And yeah, right. and still wanted, and when she got her shit correct, and he, she thought he was a man, quote unquote. I just saw another comment. Everybody, everybody was on the table. It once we get there, um, Eli said, "Yup, Miami, <laughs> BMF for acting turned me into a villain." What? <laughs> Damn. You want to take your villain ass back to the corner, bro. <laughs> I just warned you. <laughs> All right. Continue. Somebody got to pay. <laughs> or whatever the fuck she said. Mama Cookie said, I agree with Aaron. Thank and you. Kelton said, she didn't show up for the rest of the movie. Lies? Yes, she did. <clears throat> she showed up again. I had that one. It was like two times. Y'all, 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 I'll send the cavalry. Go ahead. <laughs> No, she we, showed up because she got a cafe au lait and she was smoking a cigarette and she said she want her son to come back. And that was before Larry to sit his ass down. She was talking on the phone to, uh, what was her name? Brand, was it Brandy? Brandy. Brandy. talking uh -huh. to Brandy and he clicked over and then didn't realize he was no, still he talking is. to his mama. So therefore she came back twice. Yes, he did. <laughs> I knew what you was going with that, mm -hmm. Heather. I knew where you was going with that. <laughs> they made it seem like she didn't live far apart in no way. Like, you know, dad was no, over here. Like, they, it made it seem like they was just, like, around the corner from each other. So it's not like mom dropped his ass off in L.A. She dipped off to Arizona or, or back right. then. You know, right. mom was just in the same like, <laughs> mom was like the, Mom's was still, like, in the neighborhood. All right. But, all right, all right we getting on to this next question. All right. Um... Name an actor who is typecast. Name an actor who is typecast. The, the, the nigga who punched Ebony in the face. Did you just, did you just say nigga? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I can't think of his name. You talking about Junior? Yes, Junior. Oh, yeah. Him. Yep. Junior is typecast like a motherfucker. That nigga is typecast. Yep. Pa Junior. Paula J. Parker. Club is typecast. Steve Harris. Really? That nigga is. 
He always playing the asshole, and usually for some reason it's the asshole cop. Mm -hmm. mm. Paula J. Paula J. Parker. Damn. Mm. Mm. Yeah, think about it. Every movie she's been in, she's she's some type of ratchet hood chick. Like what the well, fuck? Well, except Tales from the Hood. That's what? only one exception, though. What's that loud? I would also say woo, but nobody really watched woo, so that don't count. What's the loud black woman name from um? Every, uh, why did I get married? One and two, and then the oh, twins. Oh, Tasha. Tasha Smith. Tasha. Tasha. She typed. Oh, oh, that was another villain. Oh, oh. Tiffany Haddish is also typecast. Yeah, she, she's definitely typecast. She deserve it, but typecast. <laughs> the dude from the uh, what's your color commercial? You said he's definitely typecast. Stay for him, guy. Yeah. Are, you, are you in good hands? <laughs> or is it all state? All state? Or yeah. It is all state. That is all state. That's what I'm saying. That's why he, he had the plan to keep a fine ass in Gucci and Gold. That's what I'm saying. Like I'll say he had him well for you know he <laughs> her draped in Gucci and Gold and living uh View Park. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm trying to think because it's new people that's typecast, but I can't think of it. Uh the dude who played Hector in every movie. <laughs> His yeah. name is Hector. Hector? <laughs> Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. I know. That's, that's Smiley. That's his real name. <laughs> that's his real name, and that's the name that he plays in every movie. That's actually kind of cool to you have. Oh, um, I'm going to say Tyrese, y'all. Outside of Baby Boy, I feel like all Tyrese movies are the same. He just play himself. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say Samuel L. Jackson, and when I say that, I say that because He's typecast in a way that he's always an like angry black man where he's cussing somebody the fuck out. That's true. <laughs> that but he'd be hilarious as hell, though. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be funny mm. as shit, but I, I will give you that. Who the fuck is this ass? I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> Loretta Devine. I was going to say that. I was actually about to say that, but I don't think that's I don't think she's typecast. Well, I don't think typecast? that's completely true. I just think her voice is typecast. <laughs> Not for sure. Maybe. Look, that, that's probably what it is. I just feel like she, no, she, 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 she's lately, pretty good. She's been, they've been having her pay like a lot of grandmothers and, and mothers. For she old as fuck. <laughs> she can't play the one of yuck. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, she, oh, she played, wait, hold on. She, she played in the original Dream Girls. Right. True. 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 Original. <laughs> that's old. What about? That, well, excuse me, that's seasoned. Who? Ooh. Danny Trejo. Yes. That's, that's kind of yeah, racist. He, he was typecast a lot. That's racist. Yo. How is that racist? I'm just asking, was he typecast? Do y'all think he was, he was typecast? typecast? He always was playing the same kind of role. <laughs> or himself. How me saying Danny Trejo ain't racist is racist, but him saying Hector ain't. I, I thought in my head too, like, damn, Hector, that's kind of racist. That's like saying uh, <laughs> Jackie Chan and Jet Li typecast because they Asian. But no, but Hector definitely is typecast. And <laughs> look at Daryl. Look at Daryl. That, that, that <laughs> is the reason, and that's the reason why he was contract. Oh, let's be honest here. His, his well, name has to be Hector. At the end of the day, I did say that. Yeah, literally. Loud, it's I, did, I did say the loud, the loud mama from, I did say Tasha. So I guess, you know, I am I'm about to be a racist. Say, let's be honest here. What kind like of loud black gently in Jackie Chan play though? <laughs> That's typecast like a motherfucker, though. You don't see gently it's something that's going to be heartfelt. I'm, and you're I probably not like, going to see it, so. I feel like it's more people, but they're just not coming well, to the, I mean, You know that heartfelt and Romeo must die with Aaliyah? No. I mean, oh, wasn't oh, that her last movie? Or was it the other one? No, it's the other one. Oh, it was, yeah. Uh, Queen of the Dam. That was the last yeah. movie. I didn't see that movie. That's probably your last movie. Anyway, um, but anyway, regardless of the fact, regardless of the fact, let's go to the comments. Okay. Uh, Zakia said, "Bukin will burn." Damn. Eli says, "Stacy is definitely type." Who's Stacy? Well, actually, no. You talking about DeAndre? Talking about DeAndre Bonds? Yeah, Stacy from the Wood. Oh, okay, okay. He's not really typecast, but because oh, in not after that what, one movie. That yeah, after Ooh, lockdown. You, uh, I don't know. That is a movie oh. literally that I can only see once. I I couldn't watch it again. Yeah, I, I can't watch that again. <laughs> uh, Z said Jennifer Lewis. 
Damn. Mexican hole. <laughs> no. Damn. Okay. Eli said Regina Hall for the first half of her career was typecast. Mm. Good point. And then Lene said The Rock. Definitely. Definitely. But That's I don't know. That literally just play himself. No. Mm. No, you don't play because yourself. Because he has a couple of Disney movies that's totally different from other stuff that he do. So no, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, Z said Mike Epps. <laughs> yeah, actor. Oh, never mind. Let me stop. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I prefer bang, bang, bang. Oh, wow. his career. You know what? He did a good job in Air, though. So that 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 by, the, the documentary about Michael Jordan signing Nike, he did a good job in that movie. Oh, okay. If, if anything, Cat Williams, Cat Williams is is a typecast as well. <laughs> That's true. Mm. And then Lene said Felicia Rashad. Wait, going, who? Going, oh. to, going too far. Going too Whoa. far. Sorry, Felicia Rashad. Felicia Rashad should be her name, not Felicia. That's why I said it first. That's why I thought I had said it wrong. You did. It's a typo, y'all. We don't move on. Move on. Okay. Um, well, Eli said that Heather. He was correcting me. Um, Eli said Seth Rogen. Nope. Well, I mean, he plays. He, he writes definitely not Will Ferrell. <laughs> he played a shitload of. I have to sit ones. here and think about it. If you say Alan Sandler, I'll punch you in your face. <laughs> I got one for you, bro. You ain't gonna like me, but DMX was typecast like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Oh, yeah. said in regards to that goes like, without saying. It's only, 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 it's he tight cast like a motherfucker. And Lene, yeah, she for some reason, he's movie. always the biggest drug dealer in the movie. Like, <laughs> Lene also said she's always a mom in regards to her answer. She's 70 years old. What can she play? She can't play the little girl no more. <laughs> what y'all want for these people? Uh, Heather, you can't just go off screen reading, reading comments. Um, anyway, um, well, we, there right was now. no more. We got one more left. Exactly. That's why I say you can't it go just off. popped up. No, it didn't. Uh, Eli says Mark Wahlberg, the second half of his career. Uh, I gotta think about that one. Yeah, I, I gotta think about I can see that. No, I. I I'm on the okay, fence. I gotta put you on the All right, next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Name a movie that will never get old. Name a movie that will never get old. Point of Justice. Mm, okay. Soul, soul Food. Class <laughs> Act, House Party 1 and 2. Uh, Harlem Nights, Coming to America. A Bronx Tale. A Bronx Tale. Good fellas. Ooh. Uh, the Godfather. Yeah. God, Let me really explain mean, something I'm to you, my son. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. I can't watch that one like that. Like, <laughs> brown but, sugar. Mm, I'm sorry. Brown sugar. Okay. Brown sugar will never get old Ooh. to me. Um. Shit. Super bad. That will never get old. That? that will never get old to me. You smoke way too crack much. Up like <laughs> yeah. Like the crazy thing is. Uh hmm. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm not gonna attack it. I, I mean, I get it. Biker I get boys. it too, but no, no, well, actually, I Who don't said biker it, boys. <laughs> biker boys for sure. Hey. You will never not. You will never do you, shit. I watch that shit. I watch that right shit. now. I'll talk to the computer. I feel like I feel like I, I, I can see that though. I can see that. If I ever feel like a motorcycle feel, I will put that movie on. Oh, going to sixty seconds too. Um, for sure. Let's we'll switch sure. it up or a show that will never get old. The Golden oh Girls. Be careful, these shows, y'all. Don't get beside y'all. Living y'all. Live single. Living single. I'll give you that one. Mm. Um, you not gonna give me that on Golden Girls? No, I, no, that's a that's oh, without guarantee. That's, that's a guarantee. That's, that's uh, a hard uh, 
uh the fresh the fresh prince we won't get old um family matters family matters that is true I'm not gonna. Say, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna run with the with the one y'all want me to say. I know. If anybody say Brandy, I'm ready to know you off the panel for the next three three shows. Hey, Jay, you ready to <laughs> if you say Brandy, I swear to God, I'm gonna say it. You gonna say it? Sanford and Son. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh. Never get old. <laughs> Never get old. No, you gonna say you're gonna cover. I swear no. to God. I thought he was gonna say New York under cover. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that too. But I mean, no, but the, that gets old, bro. Yeah, I mean, honestly, no, because I haven't watched it in years, so it's that I told old. You it got old. Are you, no, it's not the fact that it got old. It's nowhere. It's not being played nowhere. <laughs> but I I, y'all, but I'm gonna let people have that. But let's rock. Let's rock. You got some good ones in the comments. I ain't okay. Uh, Zakia said the wood for sure. She mm. also said without a doubt. And Selena. Selena. Yes. Selena. Anything for Selena. Uh, she also said Home Alone 1 and 2. And she also said The Italian Job. Italian and Living Color. Girl. And Mini Martin. Cookie. And Mama Cookie says The Terminator, Dirty Dancing, and Jurassic Park. Okay. Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. What's good one, Mama Cookie? That's good one, I didn't even think about that one. Yes, it's tonight. <laughs> we just get the Terminator, but I'll definitely go for the oh, last. Oh, wait, we got one more. <laughs> God damn, Eli. Okay. Jackie Brown. I know it's fucked up, but ever since I was a kid when Robert De Niro just shot Shorty in the parking lot of the mall like that, I low-key giggled. You and your morbid... Okay. <laughs> 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 because he kept nagging and him being frantic while looking for the car <laughs> takes me over the edge. So and then know. Mama Cookie also said Armageddon. Yeah, that, that. Mm. That's a that's a long ass movie though. Mm. Yeah, but hey. I don't know, but it's just good. The it soundtrack is. to that movie was dope. Yeah. Oh, dead presidents will not get old. <laughs> I'll give you that. Dead presidents will not get old. I, just about any Lorenz Tate movie don't get old, really. That's true. Like, mm, no, just yeah, you know, when he in Crash, <laughs> I don't think I've seen Crash. Oh, Wasn't he cool. also in that movie with Vin Diesel and Man Apart? Got old. <laughs> that, yeah, that got old. <laughs> But I will say, okay, let me correct society. myself. Then. Speaking of the real estate, this is society will not get old, like, never get old, wasn't right. old. Wasn't mm. old. never get old, wasn't old, won't get old. Oh, he was a girl, get old. <laughs> and that's what Mama Cookie said. She said, Silence of the Lambs. That's a good uh, one. Eli said, Goodfellas, American Gangster, Casino. <laughs> and so me. So man, get old, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, you ain't gonna do that. You're not gonna do that, <laughs> like, bro. So, so no, man, you're not gonna do that. Hey, Gerald, I will watch it, but it get old, bro. Hey, Gerald. No, the dog under the bed, old. motherfucker. You lucky you didn't bite your ass. <laughs> you the dog, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Mama Cookie also said the Matrix. Nope. Not that one. Mm -mm. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, mm. Oh, and Crooklyn. Oh, yes. Yes, mm. most definitely. Mm. Man, I help her with the pillows. <laughs> Damn. All right. Quit it! I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Question Who do you think is a better director, John Singleton or Spike Lee, and why? <laughs> no. And that's also right, Eli Juice will not get old. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna say John Singleton. He made movies that, that in my more of my time that I can uh personally uh relate to. Uh what's his name? It was a little bit like before me. Like all his movies were like when I was little, little. And it was some of those movies was out before I was even born. I'm, I'm the youngest one on this panel. Y'all old motherfuckers was out in you know in the world. Uh excuse me. But yeah, um, John made more movies I can relate to opposed to Spike Lee. Mm. I'm honestly okay. gonna go with Spike Lee, 
And the reason being is because his, his cinematography was a little bit more detailed in his shots. So I enjoyed watching his movies just because of the look and as well as the stories that were told too. Heather, look at my feet. Don't my feet look hey, pretty. pretty. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna go into it more, but um, honestly, yeah, I think if anything, I probably would go with Spike Lee because I think his direction is a lot more. Uh, he he has more ver he's more versatile than John, I would say. Now, if I was doing something about like my life in LA, yeah, John Singleton without a shadow of a doubt. But I think Spike Lee, along with his cinematography, or however you say that word, is a little more versatile than John off off just off of the uh the movies I've seen. Isn't Spike the New York version of John Singleton, which is everything in New York? But I mean your your opinion, but he was out your opinion was out before who am I to make your opinion. Yeah, I was gonna say he came out before. <laughs> so, so John Singleton John, will be the LA version of him. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wasn't trying to say who was first. I mean, you, you guys are absolutely correct. No, but, but, but I, I yeah, think like, it, I think it's like comparing like a a Kobe versus Jordan type thing. Like a, about who's the best. At the end of the day, we both talking about great, great, great guys in their in their in their craft. They it's put together. Their, I'm sorry. It's just who you prefer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer when it comes to this question, really. It's really not. But it's really, really not. Is. Because, like I said, I mean, if I can get either one of them to shoot my life story, I would. So it's like, hey, shit. Your life must be good. <laughs> it ain't that great. That's what I'm saying. That should be like 10 minutes. Like, so, <laughs> that should be, that should be a short story. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean uh, there's really no right or wrong answer. To who you got, who you got, Meech? Yeah. I mean, I mean honestly, I really can't choose, but I lean more. I would, I would lean more towards watching more John Singleton movies more than I do Spike Lee, just based off the, just based off of relativity in everyday life growing up in the hood in L.A. Let's be real. Spike hasn't directed a movie in over what, twenty years at least. The last no, Spike that's, movie. That's that's com actually, I think that's false because no, um, it was the black the Black Klansman that was recent. The black Klansman, you watched that? I did. I watched no, it. I'm talking to Heather. You watched that? Or I'm putting the wrong way. Heather, you watched that? No, I have not seen. <laughs> oh it. damn! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 At least I but, know it was the last if I'm movie. Not mistaken, <laughs> damn! <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, he did. Um, what's the last movie Chadwick Boseman was in? Um, was it? Five something bloods or something like that that was on Netflix. Oh, that one. I didn't watch that either. He I had directed that, if I'm not mistaken. He did. He did direct that was a good movie. He directed that. So I'm not gonna say 20 years. You can't say 20 years. So maybe three or four. But yeah. <laughs> but like I say, I completely understand. But let's go to the comments real quick, though. Professor, you, did you answer? I'm sorry. Did you? Can you get your answer, please. I'm gonna say Spike Lee. Cool. Did you want to get that? Yeah, um, I guess growing up, it just kind of resonates more just because I grew up watching that. Although I can't relate to the other one, I just grew up watching that more. Cool, babes. Understandable. We out of here. Let's go to comments. Uh, we just got one. Uh, that would be Mama Cookie, and she said John Singleton. Okay, John Singleton. All right. So, what actor would you get to play you in your biopic about your life? What actor would you get? Mm. Um, for me, uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Good answer. Like that, we feel good answer. It's up there, Steve. It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Have him doing the Batman shit. <laughs> this is no I honestly don't know. <laughs> like, I really don't. Yeah. Who, who you got, Professor? I know you got somebody in mind. 
I don't like I don't, you, you, when you think about it. I'm solely going off based on how they act, not how they look. <laughs> Please get this brother to the quarter. I ain't talking about zero with this brother in the comments. Please get him in the quarter. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm so sorry. I, I would have said um, Octavia Spencer because she's a dope ass mm. uh, actress. That's nice. That was nice. I tell you, she's good. And not just because we have the same last name either. Damn, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. These things uh, comments could. Okay. Man, we'll take <laughs> up the comments, man. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Meech, what's your answer? Damn. AJ Johnson. Really Sorry. brushed. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I really I really don't have an answer off the top of my head. So I can't answer that. You can honestly. answer that. You can think about somebody. Just don't think of how they look. Just think of their acting skills. Hmm. <sighs> That's funny because he did like this when they made that sound. Sorry. But like all real shit, I'll get Joe Pesci to play me. See, that makes more sense. <laughs> he only said Danny DeVito because he's short. Hot headed ass. Anybody ask you what I mean, my I mean, anybody ask you what my first I mean, Joe Pesci's is. short too. I mean, I yeah, but Danny DeVito's shorter. Yeah. Are you sure? Well, I mean, according to the doctor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were tall. Yeah, well. But anyway, so. I guess you can go to the comments and everybody else stuck on <laughs> who should play them. Let's get a laugh in or two while we uh, think about who we should, you know. We'll see what everybody else talking about in the comments. Let me, yeah, let me go ahead. So, Kelton said Forrest Whitaker. You got a lazy eye? That's probably not the reason why he wanted him to play him, no? I'm just, I'm just asking. Eli says Morgan Freeman. But then he also no, he will that, narrate my biopic. There we go. Morgan Freeman. Nope, never mind. Samuel Jackson will narrate mine. The angry one or the, or the calm one? The angry one, because I curse. That's true. That's true. Um, he also says, Heather, what do you think? I need an object, uh, objective viewpoint because I'm going to say John Witherspoon next. <laughs> you know what's sad? <laughs> because I know you, that makes sense. We don't know him, so why does it make sense? Think of the characters that John Witherspoon has played and then think of all of the comments that this motherfucker has made in these guys. Send the Eli to the floor right now. So he lied. Go back to the corner. He also said the Black Power Ranger. I don't even talk about that that comment. That's about the next one. Keenan Thompson. <laughs> it uh, said that it hurt. I don't even know why we sent him to the corner. He's been there. <laughs> no, he came out with that one. Oh, he came out. Okay. Nigga, okay, no, you stay in there. <laughs> Elmo from the 90s, you are staying right there. <laughs> anybody, nope. else, anybody else to give a name on the panel? Shit. I'd still... What's the chick, the Davis, whatever her name is, Davis? She can play Viola. me. Viola, Viola Davis. Davis. I let her play me, but she can't do this. She can't do that. You want the Viola Davis no makeup on to play you? No, you hell her? no. Is she allowed to do her walk? She can do her walk. That's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know Am Amber uh, Riley. Like I, I can't think of anything. Amber Riley. Uh, she was in Glee. Oh, oh I know who Amber, Amber Riley is. Okay. Oh, the other chick, the one Jay. What's the other one that played in the movie with Amber Riley? Raven. Oh, Dillon. Raven. She can play me too. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. I guess if I have to think of anyone, Joe Tory. <laughs> For real, Chicago. <laughs> Y'all about the same complexion. 
Chicago. <laughs> you need a fashion tip. Did you switch to a weird ass? <laughs> that motherfucker said Joe Zord. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I would have said that one, but all right. Uh, oh my god. That's Let's funny. read the next question. But that's that was funny. I Aaron, did you ask Hold on, we that got two. I no didn't. Lord. I refuse to give oh, a name man. that's gonna uh have Gerald laughing at me. Hold on, we got two more. Three I got more somebody for you. Gravy could play you. We are not going to read that. We might as well skip over those. We are not about to read that. How about <laughs> sit back? Uh, okay, well. Shaq, 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 I'm gonna need you to know somebody's name. And Mama Cookie said Taraji P. Henson. You know, I got I got my answer. Eli, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop spamming the goddamn comments. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna say Don. Don gonna spam it, then they gonna block his ass. He better stop before you go to Facebook jail. <laughs> Did you just so say Don Cheeto? Are you yeah, talking about Tales from the Hood? I know damn well. What's wrong with that, with Gerald? This nigga. I know you would have laughed. Just go ahead and let it out. This nigga said Barney. All right, next question. <laughs> we are done. Next question. You are. He's a very, very good actor. I, I can see him playing you. Say God it. damn it. <laughs> no, no, no. That's like, that's like me getting. That's like that's like me getting Michael Blackson to play me. <laughs> I like Michael Blackson. He can play me too. You want to get the fuck out of here? You know, <laughs> that's <laughs> double A more so fast. Yeah, right. It's okay. double A. <laughs> I can't get jiggy with this bitch ass nigga. Take my right. bitch ass nigga to Africa. It's double A. God damn it! All right, next question. All right. <laughs> what what scene in a movie made you hate a person more? What scene in a movie made you hate a person more? Ooh, I gotta go with Larry. Mm-mm. Being Tina Tina's ass all throughout the what's love got to do with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Larry. motherfucking Ely and for colored girls, what he did to them damn babies. Fuck that nigga. Mm. I'm gonna say uh Lorenz Tayton, why do fools fall in love when he dropped the dog out the window? <laughs> so it's just involving just everything being jumped dropped out the motherfucking window. What about you, put? Salt was fucking... when she made her best friend go back and find that ring, and he died because he got stung by the bees. Mm. Mm. I hated her. For um, who did you say, Meach? That motherfucker Charles from Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Yeah, he dragged her ass out the house like he was shit. And I'm gonna say I'm also say um, the lady that <laughs> the, the the lady that killed Selena when she shot her. Let me tell you something. I can't believe I just killed my best friend. After I seen that I movie, I promise you. Every time I seen a short red haired curly lady, I kept saying that's the bitch that killed Selena. I promise you, I was doing this. I was posting the bitch on Snap. I was like, that's the bitch that killed Selena. Look at that shit. Here she- I ain't gonna even hold mm-hmm. I was. And I honestly think, <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't do it. But anyway, you no, know, like, we just got a bunch of laughing. Uh, That's crazy. Laughing and and when, she, when she was talking about uh, the baby on Precious, called it a little mongrel and was talking about the baby and shit. Yeah, she, she, she I just hated her through the whole movie. Hmm. I want to say okay. Christian Bale's character is Shaft. Wait, what? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. The, he was the, a racist piece of racist, shit. The racist, the yeah. racist. Oh, okay, okay. Because I was like, Christian Bale was in Shaft, and I was like, Oh yeah, that he, he played that racist. Okay, so, yeah. I'm surprised nobody said Tyreek from uh, Power. But, Damn, because uh, <laughs> that's not his name. No, not movie. That show is Tyreek, Mo- not Tyreek. Monique, Monet. <laughs> Tariq. Oh. 
Oh, you know what I mean, goddamn. I know I don't watch it anyways, but I'm just. I don't but, either. Well, I watched. I think I watched the first season. Though, I ain't gonna lie. But no, no nigga, no. Derek from P Valley. That white motherfucker. That's 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 racist. That, that's that's your that's, that's your gripe. That's, 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 that's I don't racist. feel like that with Derek. <laughs> he broke the damn baby arm. What? <laughs> no, I just I, I didn't say she was wrong. I just said that was oh, racist. Yeah, I mean, that what said. What, what, wrong what he did to the baby, yes, but that woman can leave anytime she wants to. She could she could okay. die bus and that. Call all of them motherfuckers gutter niggas. Like really? <laughs> Man, y'all hate y'all don't like Derek because he beat up with his name, but that's beside the point. First of all, no, fuck that. Yes, he got his I ass whooped. You want to go there? Oh boy, got his ass whooped. It's all it's all right. No, for real. Fuck all that shit. The nigga lied on motherfucking Krishan. Said it was her ass that was fucking abusing the kids and him, and then had that. Fuck ass smirk on his face when he knew she was gonna go to jail. Fuck that nigga Derek. At the Fuck end of the day, him. At the end of the day, old girl made plenty of money dancing at that shithole club, and she never decided to get her ass up and take the babies. That's her problem. But you gotta I'm think about that. Like, right, even even if she even if she would have left, he would have tracked her down. Didn't but at the end of the day, she didn't left. She didn't left. She didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't leave. Damn. That sounded like some shit I should say. Like, right. My, she my, didn't leave. My, but, but I mean, no, no, no. Like, no. Well, I'm saying, it looked like your one point six nine had a zero one point six nine moment. Forgive me. Right. Like, don't let don't, don't let there's my a difference between off you, bro. Like, you're in There's a difference like, between like there's a difference between leaving and and could of could of leaving. Like, you didn't leave. You had could have left. <laughs> you could have left. No. We're talking about left tonight. You didn't leave. Could have leave. Could have leave. Could have leave. <laughs> you could have leave. You didn't leave. You had to leave out. You didn't have to leave out. Whatever. <laughs> You had the screen door showing. You didn't have the screen door showing. You didn't have to leave out. Okay, then fine. We won't go from Derek. We'll go to Rome ass. Uh, Who tried I'm to rape? Right. Look, we're not about to go. We're not, we not about to make this show. Yeah, we're we not doing that. Like, okay. We're not doing that. All right. So before we before we go, let's go to the comments real quick, and we then we, we can move on. We have one that's from you. Oh, two. Um, he says once again, <laughs> Young Miami and her acting. <laughs> And he says Shamar Moore in that Medea movie with the car. All right, you give out the quarter with that one because I can agree with you on that one. <laughs> Facts. Like, he can't come out with the Medea movies. Uh, Blair Underwood. Mm. Blair mm. Underwood, mm. period. Mm. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. Blair Underwood, period. You didn't like him and set it off with his Pico? Oh, come on, man. Like That was pretty much you it. Everything else, it, it kind of just turned. They kept turning into either. a villain for some reason. He didn't well, think no, he started getting typecast for some reason. I don't know why he even had, I don't know why his character was even on set at all. Like it didn't make no sense. I guess opposite hey, track, right? Right. Uh Eli yeah, also but... said Janine as a crackhead in House of Pain. <sighs> mm. That was a tough one because they about to send your black ass back to the corner, Eli. You better tread lightly now. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely mm -hmm. good. All right, we'll next question. We'll have a leave out. <laughs> Wait, go one more comment. He says, what? what's, old, what's old buddy name from Players Club? He made my ass itch. Are you, are you talking about Junior again? We must be talking about Junior because who else? Myron? <laughs> yeah, probably Myron. <laughs> ugh, yeah, he, dance, Myron. Okay. Don't make my ass itch, but ugh. <laughs> and mommy, ugh, mommy, Mama Cookie said Catherine Tremell stabbed her sexual partner to death in basic instinct. Yeah. Sharon Stone yeah. was a villain like a motherfucker. All right. All right what is the most dis what is the most disrespectful scene in the movie you've seen? The most disrespectful scene in a movie that you've seen. I mean, I ain't raped Tina. That was very disrespectful. And when he and when he beat her too. Damn, you went deep with that one. Yeah. I did. I did. I'm sorry. 
I'm trying to go deep. I was just being honest. Um, shit. Monique, when she told uh, Impressions, when she told her to make her feel better or feel good or whatever that was, yeah. That part from New Jack City, Nino Brown, when he poured the champagne on uh, Michelle Michael. That was the most disrespectful scene you that's ever one. seen it's just one i'm still thinking but, it's but do you know in in that part of the movie that that actually wasn't put in there they told him to do something to get a real reaction out of her right so she didn't even know that shit was coming no just saying i'm gonna go um ll in too deep you shut that pool stick up old boy's ass and we might as well love it. Love it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I don't know. I said, if you want to go there, then hope fiction. Whoa. Now you just going south. Whoa. That, yeah. That, I mean, I, mean it, I, I would say more that's a disrespectful part to play. <laughs> trying to think I got, I, I'll go with. Um, when and get rich or die trying when he pulled when he yanked out old boy's tooth with the pliers and put the plastic bag over his head in front of everybody. I almost forgot about that. I feel like we missed a whole lot of disrespectful disrespectful. Yeah, like it's not yeah, like, it, it, we definitely are we definitely are it, it's but... a lot though. It's, it's just not coming off the top of the dome. Now watch after the show. We're gonna think about gonna have all, of all that shit. We're gonna know all this shit. Bruh. <laughs> Really? This is the one time where the question is oh, something in the battle. Oh, when 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 he when he when he vet left uh JoJo with Snoop and his homies. <laughs> Jody. When when Jody. was holding when Yvette was holding uh the other girl's baby, that was this and she gonna pinch the little nigga to make him cry. The whole movie, boy, the whole movie, baby boy was disrespectful. Right? Damn, that's true. It was. Yeah. And the reason why that gets, ain't no reason why Marvin should have Jody <laughs> Mama in that room with that leaf ball like that. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Dude, a leaf ball in, 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 in his mama house. <laughs> and you got you got the better turn around and cook some bacon, and have Kool Aid, and drink up all the Kool Aid in the kitchen, <laughs> but it naked. So about you want some of this? You naked in the kitchen. That's disrespectful. No, the fun, the funniest shit is Tyree's expression when he sees it. He walk in. Ooh, mama cooking bacon. <laughs> no, it's my beef asses in there. It was horrifying. Like, it's the it's the breathe it's the breathing for me. But <laughs> Jay, it's the it's when Pete was in there cussing out the girlfriend and her mama. You in that motherfucking house? Oh, disrespectful ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna call you insinuating. Or, or Yvette standing out in front, in front of Jody's doorstep and it's cold and it's raining. It's like, get the fuck off my doorstep. Jody, wait! Bam! He don't love me no more. That wasn't he deserved that. That wasn't disrespectful, though. That wasn't disrespectful. He just, that was the ugliest that. cry ever, though. He deserved, <laughs> yes. She had the ugliest cry wrong. ever in, I think she had the ugliest cry. Well, no, it's her and Viola, but. Yes, yeah, 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 that's that time for that one. No, no, if you watch Fences and see Viola Davis cry, I was like, God damn. But anyway, uh, but no, mm-hmm. she deserved that shit. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna leave it there. But Yvette deserved that part. Halfway, not all the way. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you left my, you left my child. You left my child with. A, I'm not getting into it. Let's no, I would say another conversation most- for another time. No, the, I was. I have to go back to why did I get married? Because the most disrespectful scene was um, she was husband. I forgot his name. What was his name in the movie? Mike. 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 Him outing everybody, mm. telling everybody's business. That ain't disrespectful. You just a messy. You I mean, a messy person. That nigga told him in confidence, and it was like, oh, so y'all niggas won't talk but about you, me. Well, well, right? That's, that's like, your fault for touching my touch Mike. What type what of you got no like, nigga, Just because you was cheating, you got. You know what the other person Mike uh, was? If I burn, if I burn, if I burn, if I get burned down, everybody getting burned down. That's why he got the bottle to the back of his fucking head. Yeah, 
Yeah, but you got you got to think about yeah, it. Uh, no, the most disrespectful thing is you go get a rental car and drive up there, and we gonna fly. Hell, that was disrespectful. That was that was. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But I'll tell you what's even more disrespectful. When uh, Marcus's wife said, "I got the shot," I was waiting on you to say something. That was hell. Boom! Oh, that was disrespectful. Oh, she she deserved it. You mean after she insinuated that he was gay first? It was disrespectful. Oh, okay. She insinuated. No, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't. I didn't get the narrative that as she was saying he was gay. I just thought that no, he no, no. But it, it's shit. the way she said it. Like after. No, you didn't get it from her. You got it from so and so. He was like, "I got it from Walter." Because <laughs> he, because he's okay. I see what y'all say. I'm see what you say. <laughs> but yeah, but <laughs> never about. But that kind of makes me want to go back to the family that prays though. After she had got slapped, and she had the nerve to say that she my son is like Cartwright. That. That was fucked up. Oh, oh, oh she Wait a minute, what? And more. Remember when she revealed that that wasn't even his son? It was. She was like, "My son is Cartwright." When he was like, "What about our son?" Is a Cartwright. <laughs> That's why I said everything that happened to her in that movie, she deserved. She deserved it. <laughs> and and more. <laughs> William, no, no, we have William, a son. William, wait. <laughs> the, the fact that he, the fact that he looked at her, and shrugged his coat, and was like, "Do we?" And walked off. <laughs> I was like, and, "Yes." And, and the the fuck <laughs> But All right, we'll get to the comments. Comments, please. All righty. Zakia said the first scene in 12 Years a Slave. Mama Cookie said, when like Faith that. fucked Terry's husband. <laughs> it's so cool. Ooh, and Terry had, see, the reason why that was disrespectful because <laughs> Terry was like, he don't even do me like that at home. <laughs> but, but Terry was a good, Terry was a good on no ass, no way. So at the end of the day, but like. No, but see, Terry went really black because when you seen. Her fucking your husband, a real black woman would have went in there and whooped her ass. I'm just saying. Now my question is, was she because she wish she had done that if she had her still had her nephew because she had her nephew with her. Maybe she that would told him reason. go back like, downstairs. Go downstairs and then I'm going back up. You know what? And I'm going to go whoop ass. But but okay okay I feel what y'all saying. But however, would she have went up the stairs anyway? If she didn't have her nephew, the only reason why she went upstairs in the first place was because uh, Ma wanted to go upstairs. So, <laughs> but here's the thing, though, even, even in doing that, I would have made it known after I sent him downstairs. I would have made it known that I seen your ass. I'm not gonna keep that bottled in. It's, not, it's, just, it's really not Faith fault though, because well, fuck the family. <laughs> it's what's his name fault, and he would have went up there in raw too. Like that they, nigga it's both they fault. That that nigga took her upstairs to the studio. No, he didn't. No, he, he didn't live up there. He, he went up to the no, studio. He didn't live up there. He walked her ass up there. She he he started started rubbing his head. No, 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 no. He, no, he no, did no, that no, smooth no, ass no, no, talking, no, no. and guess what she did? No. What happened was they were talking in front of the fireplace, having a beer. It got a little loaded. He went up to the studio to start doing his shit. She walked up there. Now, you know, like I say, I personally well, think it's I ain't blaming Faith, y'all. It take it take two Who's to take. Who's the one that decided to take off her goddamn drawers and walk upstairs? Well, I think it's both Faith. It. it was just Faith, but it was both Faith. He, 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 he played just both, a bigger one. They both playing the wrong. Well, we we gotta gotta it. We're not just we gonna say it's just Faith, but yeah. We gotta stop saying fake fuck the family when 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 uh fake fake don't have no penis, y'all. So we gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I mean that was, that was a line. I know it that was a line in the movie. That was a line in the movie, but you know, the rape scene. Oh wow. Z. Yeah, uh Zakia said the rape scene in Funny Valentine. That, that yeah, was, that, that was shit respectful. was crazy. Uh, Eli yeah. says that scene in Snowfall when Franklin and Leon was looking for their money with old buddy in Snowfall. And old buddy, <laughs> and old buddy ended up taking three people. Wait, last hope that evening in one scene. You lost me. Know. There's too many old buddies. I don't know. Who I don't. I don't watch it, so I, I still don't know what he was talking about. As the kid said, so. Emily sleeping with Donna's man. That was disrespectful. Yeah, in, in her bed after, too. But that was after she said she didn't want him. Then she fucked him. Don't make it right though. 
No, 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 no. What I'm saying you know, it makes it even more worse because she said she didn't want him and then she turned around and fucked him. Yeah, well, like, I mean, no, but, at the same, but at the same time, you really can't say that because when Jamie tried to get her number, she was like, you know, I just broke up, but we can get back together and all that other stuff. So it was kind of in her, embedded in her mind as a possibility. So you can't really say that, but okay. Ain't no family code no more. And she was honest. She was honest about it. Uh, I guess yeah, I guess there ain't no family code. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm gonna tell you right I, now. I don't want nobody my sister slept with. Period. I'm good. <laughs> I definitely want nobody, my brother. But go right. ahead. Uh, Zaki also said the seed in eye for an eye when the delivery guy uh raised the daughter. I'm not gonna lie. I I forgot. Was it Donald? No, that movie what was his crazy. name? I don't know his you name. You know, you didn't see a lot a of scenes in your life, like for some reason. I, well, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, uh, Keith Sutherland, Sutherland. That made me look that motherfucker. It was him, huh? No, I'm just saying she done seen a lot of rape scenes in her life for some reason. But go ahead. Uh, Eli said, "Easy E and NWA." When he said, "I said she's sucking on a real nigga dick," then proceeds to pull out the whole armory on these dudes. That wasn't disrespectful. That was just that was disrespectful. That was, that was, that was pretty hot. That was actually pretty. I said she got a fucking dick in her mouth. That was actually hot. I like, and, and then and then at the end of the day, they threw the bitch out too. Like right, right. I believe you. Get your ass out the door. Uh, Mama Cookie said, "Lim dancing with the with the booty girl at his wedding," and then she was laughing. Damn. Uh, Eli, Eli also said the scene in Eight Mile where Eminem friend fucked his girl in the studio while there was, was an interview going on, literally on the other side of the window. That he was. deserved his ass. He deserved to get his ass. I agree with you on that one, Eli. <laughs> he also said, "Just look up the scene and watch you gas." Let's just say he was giving it to him. Okay. <laughs> What's the next question? I didn't give it to her. Give it to Ooh. her. He met oh. her. <laughs> All right. Uh, mm, mm, mm. All right. What's a movie that you love that this generation never heard of? Welcome to the Dollhouse. Oh, damn. Bronx Tale. Jawbreaker. Ooh. I haven't heard of none of these movies, y'all. Really? Yeah, you're a young buck. That's why. But anyway. I'm sure you heard of a Bronx Tale, though. Damn it. <laughs> Grim, Grimlins. Um, damn, Shit, Grimlins. right. I heard of Grimlins. Yeah, if you want to go there, the Goonies. <laughs> what did you say, Jerry? Oh, God. Lost Boys. Boys. Goonies. Facts. The Goonies. Lost Boys. The Lost Boys. Me, me, um, me, Meteor Man. <laughs> no. Blank mm. Man. Y'all just being funny now. No, I was no, dead ass like, about Meteor Man. That's my shit. I was being dead ass. I was being but dead Robert ass. Townsend? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, my young ass even know that one shit. I'm about to say shit. Hollywood Shuffle? Shit. <laughs> the Sandlot. Y'all don't. Cool. Oh, that's my shit. Yeah, a lot of people think they won't know about that. They don't they know about little that. little giants. Ooh, nice. They don't know nothing about that. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Oh. That was one of my favorites. Shit, and blew up the baby. Oh, that was one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Hell, Ooh. fucking yeah. That was a good movie. That, that was my yeah. shit. That is facts. Hmm. So, um, shit, oh, the, the Breakfast Club, Sweet Sixteen, the Breakfast Club. Club. Pretty in Pink. All those movies. Mm. Boomerang. <laughs> that's sad all they will know about is the damn show and that is sad they won't know mo, the, mo money they won't even know what the Oof. what the toy was at this point i haven't seen the mo money in years. mo money the toy oh oh big i was just big. about to say that big was one of my favorite movies big, big yeah one of my um, american tale uh, Jim Carrey's first. I was, I was just about to say that. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say that. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is it? Fiebel goes west. <gasps> that um, was my shit. I love that fucking movie. Yeah. The little dinosaur. Land, land, land before time. Motherfucking Fern Gully. Reading Rainbow. 
But and rock, no, they don't know nothing about rock a doodle. Oh my but. god, rock a doodle. That was my shit. All dogs go to heaven. Yes. That was boring as fuck. No, most of the motherfucking old, most of the Disney movies. Honestly, I said it. I said it. <laughs> when it was time to be, said it, when it was time to be take my nap, because I was young back then. Guess what I was watching? <laughs> all dogs go to heaven. heaven. Yeah. Oh, oh, bro. Look who's talking. Whoa. Yes. Woo. They ain't gonna know that. Yeah, they wouldn't even know about Luke who's talking now. Like that would have been the reason. Or even or, or shit, baby geniuses. Uh, <laughs> nah, baby's day out. Oh my god, get out of my head. I was about to say Curly that. Day out. Out. Curly you say Roger Rabbit. rabbit. Three men and the little ladies. No, nah, what would you just say, Meech? Who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, yeah they won't know nothing about that. Three ninjas, three men and the little lady. Three Come ninjas. On I remember that one. Hey, that's my shit. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> none of the uh the original uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. Nah, okay. they're around. They're you around. Know that they got they're a new around, one coming out. Have anybody seen the preview for that movie? Which one? The new Ninja Turtle movie. I no. didn't even know they had a new one coming out. First of all, the turtles look real thin, and Master Splinter look like he a crackhead. That's what I'm saying. Man. Bro, it, it, it ain't right. It's a cartoon. That's why. Mm. All right. There's so rock, many. Let's rock, let's rock to the uh to the comments. Alrighty. Um, Eli said, Oh, the comment that he said before he said that comment was for snowfall. Oh, okay. Um, his answer for this though is the last boy scout. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh Zakia said uptown <laughs> uptown Saturday night, busting loose. Let's do it again and go down. Hey, you went close down. Close down. Uh, Eli said undisputed with Wesley Snipes. Uh, Zakia also said Fox Fox and the Hound. Aww. That was a good one. Uh, Mama Cookie said food of the gods. The birds get smarter. Smart. And sorry, smart. <laughs> and Eli says Adam Sandler as Billy Madison. And he also said the last kiss good night. Okay. Mm. Heaven. It's actually Food of the Gods, The Birds, and Get Smart. And, and Get Smart. Three, okay. There's three different movies. She just said, put mm -hmm. the. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. She put them on again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I made some good ass movies just here. Made, made me want to go watch, me wanna go watch a few. <laughs> oh, wait, we got one more. Uh, Mommy Cookie said, Wages of Fears. I don't know that one. Yeah, I, that one, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what do you know about Home Alone? Remember the movie part. Swamp Thing? Yeah, yeah, it sounds familiar. Most I was about to say, and I was about to say, Children of the Corn. <laughs> you know what? I feel like kids know about Home Alone because when, when Christmas time rolls around, that's all that's being played on a lot of these. That's a fact. So, yeah. That's that is true. Fact. That is true. Like, like Home Alone is definitely they stay. Known. Their royalty checks on the holiday times is ridiculous for Home Alone. <laughs> Dead ass. Um, oh, um, um, Eli said ma Major League. Oh, that is true. One and two. One and two. One of my one favorites. and two. Good shit. Hell, Field of Dreams. I don't know shit about that. If they watch mm -hmm. how high they did. Especially watch Field of Dreams. <laughs> wow. But long. Yeah, how high? Oh, but my long. God. Well, I talk about, nah, I talk about, about, I talk about the, the street and Gardena, but long. That's all. I was going to talk about the dog. <laughs> oh. Eli said the first one. <laughs> the second one was good too, Eli. The second one. That's what old boy didn't have his glass. Well, I don't think they have his glasses yet in the first one. What was the what was no, the name he of did the have his glasses? He did have his glasses in the first one. <laughs> okay. What was the name of the movie with the female uh, softball team? Uh, A League of Their Own. A League of Their Own. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, okay, we got more. Mama Cookie said Wizard of Oz. The Michael Jackson version though. All oh, the whiz. As mm -hmm. mm. uh, said, Major Payne. She also said the whiz. And Eli said, Police Academy. Oh boy, that was beatboxing the whole movie. I wouldn't know shit about Police Academy. Or, or, or the Renaissance, or the Renaissance man. <laughs> y'all, don't, don't know nothing about that. What's that, that other movie? movie with um, with the cops? Oh, Lethal Weapon. <laughs> Lethal Weapon. They don't know nothing about that. 
Yeah, they they might because of the show, but <laughs> they might but know the original the lethal weapon. The original they don't know nothing about the movies. No, they don't look about Danny Glover at this point. <laughs> Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Oh, so I'm the only one who saw that. Okay. No, we seen it. We seen it. Like, damn. Mm-hmm. Actually, oh, we got you were so excited. You're like, that Robin Hood, Minutes Life. Minutes Life was my shit. That was the first uh, you time you saw Dave. With the, singing, with the singing and rapping in that shit. Man, I, I, that's one That's one movie I can watch one time and be done with it, dog. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh. I always watch uh, Robin Hood, Minutes Life a thousand times. I love it. Revenge of the Nerds. That's a good one, too, Eli. Yeah, Eli yeah. said a Revenge of yeah, the Nerds. One. That's a good one. Uh, Zakia said the disorderlies and oh yes, Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop, Little Shop of Horrors. Little and the Rocky Joe. Horror Picture Show. They don't know shit about that. <laughs> Joe's <Right>. apartment. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Oh no. <laughs> no. Please. That's Joe's a good one. <laughs> oh, Eli said uh US Marshals. US Marshall was a good one. US Marshall was a good one. West Ham they don't want no more movies. That's why I ain't can't pay his taxes. So Damn. Bill and Ted's All right. Check this out. Name a black TV show that was overrated. Uh, all of them. Good That's times. Them. Good times. Go to the corner, put. Go to the corner. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. I know you're going to say. Aaron, you got to listen. We already, know, we already know the answer to this. Listen. One. I know what you're going to say. And I'm going to tell you why. James faked his death. He moved to New York, married another chick. She died, had two kids, and opened up a McDonald's. <laughs> what the fuck airing at? Wait, 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 Married right. a chick, had two kids, she died, and then he opened up a McDonald's. That's how you know that show was overrated because he got tired of being on that motherfucker. She, she intertwined coming to America with good times. <laughs> 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 All right, can you please send her? Please. Bananas. Can we All take right. a vote? How many Why people on the, the corner? Say I and push go to the corners for saying good times. One, two, three. I, I. explain to you why. <laughs> I don't like good times. Never, never like good times. Don't mean, don't mean, you don't gotta like it, but to say it was the most overrated black series, black TV show is crazy. But, but, but I'm, I'm gonna say it. Um, Martin, <laughs> overrated. Definitely. Damn. Well, y'all grab each other's hand. Y'all both go to the corner at this point. Come on, Jay. <sighs> um, I'm gonna say after a while, Empire. Hmm. I didn't really like, watch it like that. But I saw that was on Fox. Really? I didn't watch it. Like, it was good in the first, maybe first season, and maybe after the second one, it just kind of it's just down. Brandy. <laughs> Moise. Oh, this is what you use your Moesha car for. This one right no, here. I, no, like, I go even worse. I, I, say, I, I, I'll go and work. I go worse and say sister, sister. The Parkers. Come Ooh. on. I can keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep going. keep going. Keep going. Parkers is not a show that I I actually watch. I, no, but see, the, here, okay, here's the problem I have with the Parkers. Y'all had this girl Ooh. play this role as if she's airheaded and she's black on a prime network television show, which have dozens that have made thousands of people think that black girls or black women at this age range are are real airheaded and stupid. Not only was she. On Moesha, she was dumb, but she wasn't as diggy until she got on that show, and then it just made her super dumb. Super dumb. Yeah, she was not that stupid. Like, you kind of like dumb on Moesha. Kim wasn't like dumb like that. Dumb like that. Was she was dumb as Brits just to be a party. diggy black girl on TV every day or every week. Well, I mean, I think personally, Martin is uh, overrated. Well, maybe because I've seen it too much, I don't know, but I think it's kind of overrated at this point. Girlfriends hated that show. Why was it? Why well, was? Why well, was about to say that? That was another show that I actually Beach liked. Was girlfriends? Didn't yes. For it towards the end. Okay. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm sorry, but the I'm sorry, but the the storylines on girlfriends was getting fucking stale. It, it's the it's same it's the same shit over and over again. Joan can't find a man. Joan can't keep a man. Bye is always <laughs> angry with her baby daddy. 
<laughs> what like come up with it something new for fuck's sake and it's always a goddamn free spirit and doing whatever the fuck you want to do what was that it's other crazy. show that they had out with the black people and the two sisters they had the same oh, half and half? i hate that show too Ruth is I, mean, I never really watched half and half like that now i, I do really like i do like their their thing so but i hate the show Mm. I mean, I love it, right. but I never care for that show. Okay, let's rock to the comments real quick. Okay. All righty, oh, Ashley oh. is in the business. She, business what up, business. Ashley? She says, "Hey guys, what up, Ashley? Thank Mama you for stopping said, by." <laughs> Mama the Cookie who? said, "The Jeffersons." I think that's oh, what Mama said. Cookie, come on. And family Mama. matters. Family matters. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, that's what y'all that's what y'all get. That's what y'all get. Y'all y'all hey. over here said good times. <laughs> I said what hey, I said. Y'all over here said Martin. Y'all said Martin. But I just said Martin, but not say Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh my god, no. Jefferson's was also whole other shit than good times. Nah. Good times had pissed me. Mama Cookie, talk your shit. I'm with you. Talk oh, wait, your wait, shit. Hold on, hold on. I'm letting her, I'm letting Mama Cookie oh, talk oh. shit because that's Mama Cookie. I will never defy her, but I'm just saying, damn. Oh, damn. Wait, 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 so, Let's get to Eli's comment. He says, "Crack knuckles, unleashed the unleashed the crack." Girlfriends was hella overrated. Yeah, I said it. I'm glad there was a writer strike, and it ended because the last two seasons was a no. Nah. He's absolutely right. About that. <laughs> yeah, he ain't lying about that one. Had no input on girlfriends. Uh, Mama Cookie Ooh. also said the Ooh. game. Yep. She on fire. She's sm she yep. smoking. And no, one I actually like the game. The game was actually party. pretty good. He got pretty good at one point. What? But wait, Mama, like, wait, hold on. Wait. Mama, I don't good. think you're understanding the <laughs> at this point because you put a different world. No, we're saying what show is overrated. Cause now she's right. The game was overrated. I'm not talking about that. Overrated. She put a different world at the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> it's oh, a couple really? others. Wait, hold on. Wait, she, wait, went wait. Too far. she went too far on I that. I don't know about that. Mama <laughs> Cookie, come on. Uh, okay, Ashley said, oh my God, I love half and half. Damn. <laughs> I like it too. I like it too, Ashley. I don't, I don't care what they talking about. Thank you, Mama Cookie. Now, there you go. You back, you, it was not you back, you back to batting. It was. <laughs> oh, the no, the Parenthood. No, the Parenthood. No. Not mama, the parenthood. I can't mama, go. I can't tripping. agree with that one. You tripping, mama? Yeah. <laughs> Not the parenthood. I can't agree with that one, Mama Cookie. All right. Eli says once again, release the crack. <laughs> lost should have got lost in the ideas of shows. Never seen Lost, so I can't tell. I should never seen Lost either. I've never watched that either. I never watched that, so I can't say nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, oh shit. Mama Cookie said a different oh, world, man. and she says. That's to me, it's my motherfucking opinion. You ain't got to be disrespectful or rude about it either. Hold we on, just trying to make on. sure that you oh, have sorry, the right damn question. Hold on, professor. You have, you have used the exact same quote before on this show. No, 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 no. I said I was just making sure she had the right question. I was just, that's All what right. I was telling her. Oh, she said what she said. Yeah. Anyway, we we go. I, mean, I said what I said. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mama. Your mother's cool. child. I'm, I'm sure. backing away from that one. Oh, wait. Ashley said, Lord, not everybody hates Chris. Wait a minute, girl. You I'm missed a, that I'm whole conversation say, in the beginning. Everybody hates <laughs> Chris wasn't a, wasn't an overrated show. It made it, it kind of annoying. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Y'all also like Terry Cruz whitewash ass. So no, I ain't got nothing to do with Terry Cruz. I like Terry Cruz. I think What's Terry Cruz like, was funny. Was but, annoying. I didn't usually watch it like that. Oh, let's not forget about Malcolm and Eddie, Gerald. Overrated. <laughs> the Keenan and Kel show overrated. Oh, overrated. Overrated. Don't like. Didn't watch it. So Damn. overrated. No. So you don't love Orange Soda? <laughs> that was not. That was not the Keenan and Kel show. That was all I that. Man. You. That's no, all no. that. And the Keenan and Kel show was two different shows. No, I could have swore that. But, he he, but in, in, in Keenan and, and Kel, Kel he still did the whole Orange Soda thing. It, it comes. It, it comes from all that though. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, that's, it, it, it started in all that. It continued on to Keenan and the Kale. Yeah. So you're both still right. kill shit. I'm going to say, look, but see, look at it. Look, them, look two it. Alone, look them two alone is overrated. The, the whole cast of all that, I can't say the same thing. 
Oh, okay. I was going to say, look at look at Aaron over there, fact checking. <laughs> oh yeah. I think you can say that. All right. All right. Yeah, right. All right. Speaking since 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 the professor said since the professor said Hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a fucking minute. Oh, Eli said y'all ain't gonna know this. This is for the anime fans. Attack on Titan is fucking overrated. Yeah, I said it, nigga. No, the fuck you didn't. I'm gonna set this one out. I don't know. I don't watch anime, so y'all. There's a motherfucker who hasn't even finished the seasons yet. But anyways, oh, right. Ashley says all that is a classic, and we agree. All right. Next question. <sighs> what TV show has the best music intro? Oh, damn. The Wayne's Brothers, the Wayne's Brothers, season one and two, and all the rest of them when they re- when they revamp the uh, oh, I'm back on camera now. Yeah, when they revamp the whole intro song. Give me a high five. Mm-hmm. Do you come to cover? <sighs> that was a good intro. It was Living single though. Different world oh, yeah. and the Cosby Show. Mm. Wait, but different Ooh. world. We talking about the one where Aretha's singing it? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um shit. Smart See, guy. Smart, smart guy too. season three. <laughs> say, that's not, that's not first one it was it. <laughs> right. I don't know, but that big head bounce was it though. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's all that's all he did. Y'all know how to do it. Like. The C Harvey hey, show. <laughs> Damn, did they ever change that? No, I didn't no, think oh, they they play saxophone. <laughs> It but stayed the same throughout the whole step, The Cosby Show had like three different theme songs, if y'all ever paid attention. No, no, they only no, had 25 seasons. Every season. <laughs> every season it was changed. So, yeah. Like, and they all was mad dope, though. It was it, yeah, color. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I just show realized was, something. Definitely one of them ones. I think Living Single was the only one that never actually changed. Like it kept it throughout all the seasons. So. Oh, okay, okay. I, I get what you No, they saying. changed like you know, of course the, the pictures. They just changed the scenery people, up. But it was the same um, song the whole time. In the nineties kind of world. I'm glad I got one. Keep your head up. Uh, keep your head up. That's right. <laughs> What are, are you doing, man. bro? <laughs> you do the running man? I was trying to, to, to run a man, but I couldn't get the rhythm. <laughs> I gotta say, hanging with Mr. Cooper. Oh, I did it one season. I'm gonna say he did one season. Wait, I feel like every every which single season was the one with invoke. <laughs> that, that, was, was that was the first last one. That was last season. Okay. Ooh, that's the shit. That, that was the shit. That was the first season mm-hmm. though. But, um, Ooh, the Jimmy Fox show. I actually again? like. I actually like the Martin intro. The first one. The first one. I like the last one. The, the second one was cool too, but I like I I like the first one. My and I'm the man. That was the shit. Oh, uh, first of all, Golden Girls. Thank you for feeding me. Yeah, that's true. The facts of life. It's the facts of life. Oh, oh, oh I was uh, singing along. Uh, uh, I was singing along too. Uh, uh, and and Sanford and Son had one of the best intros too. <laughs> okay, what you talking about? Whoever was playing, the, they was playing the fuck out that harmonica. I don't care what you was talking mm-hmm. about. But anyway, even though Hood, you said that Good Times was overrated. That no, they, song, they, had, they had a dope theme song. That theme song. That's not shit. that. That's not debatable at all. That's debatable. <laughs> that's debatable. I mean, I mean, we're gonna say that. We might as well say the Jeffersons. Hey, that was a good one though. Come on now. Oh, and oh, and uh, the PJs too. But anyway, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. But let's go to the comments and see what they see what they say. Okay, they got a lot. Hold on, let me go to the back. Okay. Uh Ashley said Wayne's brothers. Mm-hmm. As the kid said, in oh, in living color and living single. Which one Facts. though? Which one? Which one's the kid? Oh, it gotta be for uh, living color? is in the building. Yeah, late what up, Johnny? <laughs> what up, bro? Hey Johnny. Uh, Eli says Moesha season two and three theme song upgrade was built different. Actually, uh, yes, it sounded better from the first one. The, the the two and the second and third one sounded better from the first one. Most definitely. Uh, he also said one on one. Yeah, that was a cool one. That's the kids had different strokes. 
Now the world comes through. And Johnny said, what about the Hubs intro? Anybody else lost? I'm lost. I, I am. Right. Now explain, Johnny. Explain. I don't know what Hubs is. Yeah. Ashley said uh, 227. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice one. Zakia, you fool. Step by step. Step by step. Day by Hell day. yeah, Eli. All that. Day by day. Did we say the family matters? I, I, no I said the family that. matters. You did? Mm -hmm. I didn't hear you. Yeah, I was talking. Am I said the proud family? Damn, mm. no. <laughs> but that wasn't good. Mention that either. Oh, and uh, who, since we going there, uh, who's the boss? <laughs> oh, Cheers. Uh, that's funny. Cheers. <laughs> right, back to the in charge. <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, damn. That they was actually <laughs> iconic. <laughs> I didn't know that guitar riff. <laughs> uh, but you I like said all that theme song is a classic. Indeed. Damn right. True. Uh, Ashley said in living color. Uh, Zakia said cousin Skeeter. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> uh, Eli also said murder she wrote had a good, a great theme song. I'm not blaming him. Johnny said reading rainbow. Yes. Hell yeah, that shit was fire. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Bill not a oh. science guy too. Bill, yes, Bill, yes. Bill, 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 motherfucking That's magic school bus. Damn, come on, goddamn right. And then Eli said, Let's not forget Monk. LOL. I actually didn't really watch Monk. What I didn't. Out of all the shows you mentioned today, you never watched you Monk. Watch Monk? Monk? Okay. <laughs> That's different. I for sure. I was sure. sure. I was sure. During the time that I didn't have cable. So uh, okay. uh, Johnny also Johnny said the hub. Wow. This nigga said, I, I, I quit. I, I, I quit. <laughs> I fucking quit. Pornhub quit. Uh, Ashley. Pornhub got an intro, intro song, bro. <laughs> we ain't watching amateurs, yeah. Ashley <laughs> said, Oh my God. I love whole mix and clean. <laughs> uh, Ashley said, Oh my God. I love Who's the Boss. And Eli said, Matlock was a cold thing, too. This is only for the kids who were getting watched by their grandparents. True. That is true. See, if you want to say that, nigga, you better not say heated tonight. I'm gonna punch you in your throat. I wasn't gonna I was say just about to say that. I was Jeez. not gonna say that. I was like, hey, young and the restless had a cold ass thing. So that's, that's what I was gonna say. I Damn, you're all so young and the restless. I love oh, yeah. Lucy. Oh, oh yeah. I love Lucy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Ashley. You want to go there? The price is right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just Price is right is stupid, Gerald. Friends, had a good, Friends did have a definitely good uh a theme song too. I'll be um yeah, yeah exactly. We know it. Wait, we, got know couple, it. we got a couple more comments. I know yeah. it. Just didn't, just didn't care for the show. Crazy. Blue carry show. That's yeah. Clean Dawson's Creek. Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, Ashley it. says cheers and friends. I will say, even though I didn't care for friends, they did have a good thing. And Cheers was dope as fuck. And she, I said that. And that's what I was saying. Like, <laughs> we was just saying shit. Here comes the, uh, the kid says, gym. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That is a throwback. I uh, she also it's said Tiny Toons Adventures. We're all the little. Man, we're, we're, I mean, we're going to go to cartoons. We're gonna Animaniacs. Go to Animaniacs. Johnny said <laughs> Mass. I don't remember Mass. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny said Mass. <laughs> Johnny, yeah, boy. Hell yeah, Eli, the Boondocks. Boondocks. That yo, that beat was crazy. That, was hard. Hard. that beat was hard. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> I get you, bro. Thank you, Jay. Oh, I, no, 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 no. I gotta mm. say, you ready? CSI, Las Vegas. Y'all know that's mm. my shit. Yeah. You like that Mortis SVU? Are you? I might say, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to court. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to law like that. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. yeah. Uh -uh. Just, oh, nigga, king of the hill. Damn. Because me and UCR is watching. King of the hill. hill. I right. said king of the hill. Oh, I'm sorry, the comments said that. Hey, they're going to the corner. What? <laughs> hey, uh, Eli said. You and Boom. Playboy Channel. Hmm? 
South Park had a dope ass intro Hell too. Yeah. Family Guy. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So oh, every wait, show, so every show had a dope ass intro. Wait. Basically, like every show had a dope ass intro. Basically. Wait, you oh, said seven heaven. Disregard la my last comment. I don't know that last person who wrote that. <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> well, you have split not... personalities over there. Playboy like... Channel at night. Yeah. And then Ashley says, New York undercover, even though there wasn't any singing. LOL. No, you don't bro, need to that sing. was a good theme song, though. Bro. That was a good theme song. Don't need no singing, Ashley. Don't need no singing. Because I don't think. I really don't. Because we had funny? Night and Natalie's <laughs> on every goddamn show. Yeah, except yeah. for the last season, though. Yeah, with Tommy, rest <laughs> the white boy. All right, we have time All for right. one more comment. I mean, comment question. Question. Hmm. Oh wait, okay. uh, one more comment. Uh, Johnny said, "Family guy." We mentioned that. All right, we're gonna try to. We're gonna try to. Make it, right. Make it a good one. What are you? <laughs> What do you think about the new generation recreating classic movies? Oh, shit. Here we it go. needs to stop. <laughs> I, I hate it. It needs to it. stop. Certain we classic. need original ideas. We need to stop with the remakes because the majority of them bullshits are horrible. Classic needs to be untouched. It does not, it doesn't need no remakes. It doesn't need no refreshing. Just leave it where it is. And be original unless we never figure out the movie and then we need a prequel jerry you want to go or, or you want me to go? Was, you, you can go you right put <laughs> you can go <laughs> i'm not gonna sit here and act like these remakes ain't a good movies because they really are white man can't jump the remake it was, a, it was a pretty decent movie it's a decent it was movie pretty good it was pretty good house party is a decent movie not shut up, Gerald. Shut up, Gerald. It's <laughs> up, but I'm just saying. Like, you got, get through the end of the movie first, then we can talk more about it. I say this. Right. I say this much. If you, what y'all don't know is Juvenile performed at House to the remake of House Party. Y'all wouldn't know that because y'all haven't seen the movie yet. But I haven't that, seen Coming to America too yet. At least Coming to America, they they kind of like tied in all the old characters. So again, Coming to America wasn't a great movie. But it wasn't a bad movie either. I will just say this. It's a movie. <laughs> it, it, it was serviceable. It's a movie. That's all I can say. It's the movie. It was serviceable at best. We'll just say that. I, I don't think we should completely write them off. I don't I, I don't agree with them with tying the original name title to the new movie. Um, but at the end of the day, they're not like bad, bad movies either. So I would tell people give them a chance. Before grinding them off completely, um, I'll piggyback off that, and I agree with it because some of these movies are not that bad, but you do have some that were just horrible, horrible. horrible. So I think that's where society kind of links, especially especially like the, the the older society, like and all that. They kind of lean towards leaving it alone because it, it's just the simple fact that they're just taking the shit, putting their own twist in it and throwing it out there as a movie. And it's just like, no, nah, bro, that's not even it. Like, you know what I mean? So. I think but, most of the time it's a cash grab because they feel like, oh, it well, could be, movie. it could be, you know what I mean? It could you be can't, a franchise or this was a movie. You can't say it's a cash. You can't say it's a, it's a cash grab. If it goes straight to the Amazon prime or Hulu or like, that's not a cash grab, though. I don't necessarily say that, though, because there's a lot of people who stream nowadays. So, and then not to mention, and there are a not lot to mention, we don't know the money on Prime and Hulu. And yeah, and not to mention, we don't know the deals that are being made behind the scene in order to get that movie on Prime or Hulu or anything to that nature. But do you think it's the so same, it same amount of numbers that, that someone would get by people going to the actual theaters and 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 watching it in the theater personally personally it could be i mean it because depends. like i said stuff is stuff is redefined by streams now as opposed to going to box but it also depends if it's like only exclusive to one uh streaming platform. network or mm -hmm. a platform or if they made it into a series yeah then it becomes even more you can gain more money from that 
I, I got to do more homework on that and figure out how streams work because even if we think about streams and music, it's way different from buying hard copies and CDs and, and stuff yeah, of that but nature. It's so. also different from, so with streaming too, instead of just buying as well, if they stream, then there's a certain amount they get. Now, if they stream and watch the whole movie, then it's a different amount that they get. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's kind of like YouTube, I guess, where if you watch it for X amount of time, then this is what you'll get. Or if you comment, this is what you get. Because they even have people that they pay to literally sit there and watch these movies. So it just kind of depends. Okay. And then even the shows as well, because it's like, a good example i've been waiting for this part. no this is more of a that was more of a prequel no i, I won't use that as an example you know that was a good movie fucking movie show out. have anybody ever seen the show from i, I haven't I, seen from y'all need to watch it it's a remake it, no it's, it's, it's a series it's a t, it's a tv uh, series but uh, it's a good show it's definitely it a good hurt. show first season you can watch free on amazon prime so what okay uh, let me ask the question what do what is your honest thought about the prequel so for instance stuff like base motel that was you know an extension of psycho like what do you guys think about people doing the prequels if it makes sense i'm, I'm cool with that okay if it's going to help you to understand everything else i'm cool with that but if it makes absolutely no sense there's no point of it I, I think a lot of us are scared of them taking our like childhood or, or movies and series that we grew up on and 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 giving them a bad name. And at the end of the day, um, again, like Space Jam, for example, the whole original Space Jam with Michael Jordan, and then have them remade it with LeBron James. You know, again, we grew up in in. Le- and Michael Jordan was the truth for all the sports fans or, or basketball fans out here in the world. Michael Jordan was the truth for, for them to take that and give it to LeBron James. A lot of us had a problem with it, but um, I just feel like if you if you sit down and actually watch the movie, it wasn't a bad movie. Um, I just think that we're more afraid of them taking what we grew up and what we love so much, what we cherish so much to our hearts uh, as kids going into our adult life that uh, they don't take what we like so much and, and, and fuck it up or put a spin on it that we don't necessarily agree with. But if you think about the spins they put on things now, it's actually what's happening in today's world and what's happening in, in today's uh, in today's world that maybe kids might be experiencing. So I can't really be mad about how they spin it. I just wish they would kind of just give these movies different names and not kind of just carry over from what they take it from. I'm so okay with them doing movies. I, it's not an issue with that. My issue is do it where it makes sense or do it where you give something justice. It's not like, I I get it if they're doing it where it's for today, but make it make sense. You're absolutely right about that. And I don't mind them doing it. It's just, again, make sure that you do it justice. Because for instance, Interview with the Vampire, they recently turned that into an actual show. And from what I've heard, it's actually pretty good. Even though people love the original movie so much, the the show isn't that bad. It's just as long as they do it right. That that's all I ask for is that it's done right and it's a good story that's told. I think I think I think it boils down to being well knowledgeable in in said movie or franchise. Because if you don't have the proper knowledge about it, of course you're not going to be able to give it the proper justice. So. My suggestion is like really pay attention to the details within the franchise before you decide to present the idea to give it a remake or a reboot or whatever you want to phrase it. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Let's go to the comments. All righty. So we have this is for the last question before this one. Uh, Eli said Doug <laughs> for the theme song. Mm-hmm. And Johnny said the remake of How High Shaking My Head Trash. Agreed. You talking about how high though, bro. Like nothing was gonna touch that. Nothing. They they could have did better with that shit with the two. They, they Just leave, leave it alone. Redman and Method Man, leave it alone. 
Leave it alone. Go ahead. Okay. Eli says the reimagining of Fresh Prince of, of I'm sorry, Fresh Prince of Bel Air is a great example of how it should be done. You are I agree. right about I agree. That. Definitely. I agree. I agree. Uh, Mama Mama Cookie says, I love you guys, and y'all already know you guys are always my number one show on all social media. Have a wonderful night, but have a wonderful blessed week, and I'll see y'all next time. Big hugs. Big hugs. Thank you. We love you, Mama Cookie. And Johnny says, LA's Finest was a, sorry, was a spinoff from Bad Boys. But did you like it? Mm. And Mama Cookie also says, always remember your value is hidden from some people so that they can't access it and waste your time. Good quote. Coming through with the final final thoughts, okay? Well, shit, after, after hearing that, I have no final thoughts. So gonna, <laughs> How do you follow up on that? I'm going to reread it all over again. Right. <laughs> oh, and Johnny but, said, uh, to LA's Finest, it was a dope show. It was a dope show. I gotta, I gotta watch it. I gotta, I got if it's if it's anywhere on social, um, social media. Social media. But <laughs> I, 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 the internet. I'm just gonna say that. But with that being said, we have come to the end of <laughs> part two, films and television of the trilogy. And before we get out of here, we gonna just you know have everybody speak their piece and speak their final thoughts. And we're going to start off with the creator, Ms. Heather B. Thank you so much. Um, we didn't get a chance to say it in the beginning, but I definitely want to say rest in peace to Tina Turner, as yes. well as DC's yes. lifetime partner or longtime partner, Ms. Jackie O. I yes. just want to tell you rest, in peace. rest in peace. And, and just like Mama Cookie said, you know, your value is... <laughs> Your value is you. And a lot of women out there believe that they're not beautiful because their body isn't a certain way. So just you got to find the beauty within yourself and just know that you are beautiful to your just know that you are beautiful to someone else. And you don't have to always go and have a doctor cut on you in order to be beautiful. Mm-hmm. So I'm letting the rest of y'all go. Uh, Meech. Uh like I, like I always say, like everybody showed up in the comments tonight and we appreciate the energy and please continue to give that same energy with the segments going forward. And I'll say originality is how you make an impact in life. You don't have to go out to be a carbon copy of somebody or you don't have to emulate somebody in order to make an impact in people's lives. Just continue to be you. Continue to be. Continue to be the person that you are. Don't waste time trying to be somebody else. Talk your shit, boy. You kind of cut me off before I was finished. Oh. oh. No, Gerald. <laughs> Gerald did. Made, made it seem like you stopped talking. So good. Oh, sorry. No, you kind of interrupted me when you said the spill about loving yourself. But um, the only thing I wanted to say was just make sure that you guys do follow us on all of our social medias. Uh, make sure that you do follow our Facebook page, our TikTok page, and YouTube and Instagram. They are all under our name, which is UTR Presents Talk Your Shit. That's all I want to say. Are you done now? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Professor. Be you, love you, live, laugh, life, and love. Okay. <laughs> Double A. <laughs> um, always remember your value is hidden from social people or from some people so that. <laughs> well, we have to laugh, man. <laughs> I thought you were bullshit. <laughs> I really thought you were bullshit. I really thought you was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I'm supposed to get through the whole thing, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Have... Shut up, Beach. <laughs> Damn. Nah. Um, not this. Thank you guys for always tuning in and supporting, and always um, 
I know it's late. And I know we all watch from different parts of the world. I know we all, we could be out in the streets, or we all we could be anywhere else doing whatever the hell we want to do right now. But you always always make sure to stop by, hang out with us, participate with us, and I really we really do appreciate that. So um, thank you for just coming out and supporting. Um, we look forward to doing this more often with you guys. I know June is going to be a very rough month for us. Don't forget that our creator. Her birthday is in the month of June, so y'all don't forget to don't forget to bless her cash app or give her a shout out on our page on her actual birthday. But yes, uh, happy early birthday, Heather B. Um, you know it is <laughs> fucking Gemini season. D don't start. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I don't have any final remarks. I think Meech and, and Mama Cookie kind of nailed it on the head. But um, I would say um. Before you quick the run off a movie or a series, give it a shot. You never know how it might surprise you. Facts. Facts. Um, with that being said, uh, everybody in the comments, we appreciate y'all for coming through and stopping by, giving us your your energy, giving us your time, uh, making us laugh as hope we and giving us the entertainment that we hope we gave y'all and. Like we just love to do this. We, you know, we put a lot of effort into what we do and to try to entertain you guys. So y'all come through with your energy and y'all keep us uplifted and <laughs> spirit. And um, once again, rest in peace to Jackie O and Tina Turner. And as uh, Double A's uh, name says, Jerry Springer. Um, and with that being said, also um before we get out of here with that can we get these last few comments out yes uh eli says i feel like the movies and their storylines would be better suited for tv series than movies because of the depth of the characters um this was for you gerald in regards to the movie it's on, i'm sorry the show it's on netflix okay. and eli also says best man is a great example of that you're absolutely right Right. Um, Johnny said, y'all should go live on TikTok. We are working on that. So We're that working on it, bro. We're working on it. Uh, Eli also says, phenomenal show. Once again, y'all, really a jewel tonight. Appreciate you all. And I see you, Miss Professor, sitting lovely and luscious. You heard Kurt, <laughs> Curtis Payne voice. LOL. <laughs> and he also said, yes, Law, Gemini, Unite, Wonder Twins, go. Eli's birthday is also this month. Okay. Happy Gemini. Happy, 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 happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy, happy early birthday, bro. And Johnny says, right, them damn Geminis. You don't start neither. You was right. late. Don't say shit. Right. He, he, he here every week, though. He here almost every week. So get right. my boys some snack. Exactly. So with that being said, take care of yourselves and each other. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. <laughs> yeah, that could almost kill me. But the girls are sitting lovely. Man. So like I was saying, like first and foremost, I went what you need to stop like low key correcting me on the uh on the whole shit. Like Aaron, like for real. Like, why do you do that? Like you really be getting on my nerves. I don't, nerve I don't like shit. you, bro. I don't like you. I, I don't like you either, was, but at the same time every weekend to do a show with you, and I don't really like you. No, bro. because you always do that shit. Why you always do that? We just got off the damn show, and y'all gonna sit here and get into it. Ain't nobody right? fucking asked you nothing. I don't bro. like you, Heather. Why are you I'm only here talk? because I'm only here because each was here. Oh, really? Why was this creator like that? For real? That's how you feel. Meech, like, that's how Meech I wants feel. me here. Like real talk. Meech like why wants are you always me doing here. that shit? No, what what you say? You what? don't want to sit here and interrupt everybody always over talking niggas. So what are you talking about? I was gonna be, well, gonna be the host. host. You're, you're, you're next be time your ass can host because next time your ass host. How about that? Gerald, like, no one's here to see you, bro. No one's here to see you. <laughs> 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 you. Maybe not. No, maybe not, but I don't give a fuck. But like I said, you sorry motherfuckers can host. That's what I'm telling you. You know what? Shit. Like you know, I, I promise you, this sorry. is my last sorry, sorry motherfucker. I got your sorry motherfucker. This is my last season on the show. I'm taking this on the road. Good, good. Show after years. I'm taking this on the road. 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 i am <laughs> they definitely, they definitely. Don't yeah. nobody want to see them fucking tits, man. How much you the best? Don't you want to see that? You'll be, you be, be watching too. Let's just be honest, bro. Like, let's be honest. 
So anyway, like y'all you know, get yo, are we fucking live? Shit. Um, oh, you stupid. We're ass. ending. We're ending. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.